Hello, everybody. Welcome, Bobby. welcome to the stream. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Hello, Emil. How are you doing? See you in the chat. I saw that uh, right before we started. <laughs> um, yeah. How's everybody doing? Uh, yeah, today we are going to be starting chapter three. Oh, we're not starting. We we're in the middle of chapter three when we ended last stream. Uh, we got to the mansion. Hey, Celtics, how you doing? Hey, uh, hey, Ethan, how you doing, bud? Everybody's showing yeah, up. Yeah, everybody's showing up. Good. Um, yeah, we got through the forest last stream. Uh, Lester is joining us this time. <laughs> Introduce yourself, Lester. Can you hear us? Lester? Are you there? Yep. Okay, I can barely understand you. You can barely understand me. Very choppy. Yeah. Oh, God. Very choppy. Oh, jeez, Discord. Starting that crap tonight. I hope not. I hope that doesn't, doesn't load well for what, what it's going to be like tonight. Jeez. Hey, Julian. Hey, uh, Big Red Wing. How you doing? And I was having internet issues last week. I remember that. You, yeah, you were having internet issues last week, Celtics. Or, yeah. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, last time we we went through the forest. And we got a couple things. And now we're going inside the mansion. We were following that ghost. That ghost butler. <laughs> so, now, hopefully we'll get, uh, get a new, uh, new party member. From when I gathered, I, I thought I heard that there was a new party member coming. Oh gosh! Um. Yeah, I was just investigating this, and then, um, there was a giant spring in the sofa. What heck happened? Ah. Uh, that's kind of weird. I didn't know that was gonna happen. So, how is everybody doing today? Mario's Mansion confirmed. Uh, Big Red Wing is your friend. Yeah, I kind of figured that, Julian. Uh, yeah, as soon as he as soon as he showed up, he he mentioned you, so I figured you guys knew each other. Oh gosh, there's a boo. <laughs> if you think that's scary, just wait. Oh gosh. Can Lester hear us? Lester, can you still hear us? You're you're coming like super choppy. I honestly, let's just like you continue playing. Jumping in the voice chat for leak server. Let's try server instead. Okay. I'm right. thinking tonight's the. This... Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry for not muting earlier. I didn't know I didn't mute myself. Um. Yeah. So hopefully, let's try this again. Let's really try this again. Lester can hear us now, right, Lester? Yeah, I can actually hear things. You can actually instead hear of things. just like, hang on, let me. Instead of robot. That. Robot noise. <laughs> yeah, that's gosh. basically what's gonna sum it up. Oh jeez, I'm so sorry about that, everybody. Oh, gosh. Anyways, uh, big old mansion. Um, trying to see what else is here. This door had a be had a boo in it, but now I can open it. Strangely enough. So, is this a treasure chest? Looks like a treasure chest for a second. Nope. Can't do anything here. A hammer. Rocking chair. To be fair, it's not really your fault you're having issues because Discord was giving us issues before the stream too. Yeah, Discord was kind of giving us issues. <laughs> hey, Allison, how are you doing? Hi, Allison. Yeah, just okay. So I don't know about this room yet. I might have to figure out what's going on here because we have to follow that butler guy that we met last stream, and he said that there was a master of this of this uh, mansion, so that we have to meet. Um, hold on a sec. I think we saw that 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 thing opened when I jump on the couch over here. Yeah, see, there's a door right there. How can I get to it in time? Is 
Y'all want those luster? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Doing good. How you guys? I'm doing all right for the most part. I wasn't, uh, <laughs> besides the audio hiccups, I'm doing all right. <laughs> and we were having a little bit of issues earlier. That's just a typical stream. What the heck? Can you stay like that? Can I stay like this? <laughs> Da, da, da. Oh no, I can't stay like that. That's pretty cool. Well, I just jumped into the vase and turned into 8-bit Mario. <laughs> that is pretty funny. <laughs> That's the least great. Can I? Can I? Am I supposed to do anything with it? Or just? No, I think it's just there's an Easter egg. Okay. Da, 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 da. <laughs> And RPG Mario is in for this time. RPG Mario did that little Ooh. Mario. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, obviously can't open up that door. That door opens up when uh, I pull on the chandelier, but I can't do anything about it. <laughs> uh, can I go on this door? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry for everybody here. <laughs> Alright. There's a boo right here. Attacking. Oh, I'm so bored. Bored. Man, you just started to stream. You're already bored of yourself. <laughs> the list is just dropping. No, Lester's still here, aren't you? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. He's just quiet He's tonight. Just quiet. I know that. La it's an RPG. Not much to say. <laughs> Lady Bo ordered me to stay here, but for how long? Oh, you're guarding a treasure chest. That's what you're doing. Um. Why? <laughs> I just investigate fireplace. Get burned. It's a phonograph. It would be nice to, if there were a record to play. Yeah, that would be nice. We probably need to look for a record around here. Heard the disco. No, the, the, that noise was uh, Amber disconnecting something from my computer. That wasn't that. That wasn't Discord. My bad. <laughs> Alright. Uh, look, so there's something in the chandelier. Is that part of the chandelier? Is that a badge? Oh, gosh. It's Luigi's Mansion again when I pushed that secret button. And all the booze got out. <laughs> Mario, you have come... If you want this record, you might must guess who holds it. Are we playing that one mini game from Mario Party? Yeah, right. It's very similar to like, <laughs> like sixth of the games. Yeah. Better pick the right boo, or they'll eat you. <laughs> the lady, lady bow will be very angry if we let him get to e get it too easily, fellow boos. Do your best, like we practiced. All right, let me see where he's at. All right, I'm watching him. I'm watching him. Hey, boo and booze. Who's got it? Choose, choose. This one. <laughs> that was easy. No, boo, who? You. You guessed right. Go on, take this. But, oh boo. Lady Bo's really gonna flip out on us. <laughs> Bleh! We got a record. Alright, cool. We're gonna go play it on that phon phonograph. Oh gosh. Oh, that damaged me. Oh gosh. I better be careful about the other one. The other one. I'm guessing the other one does the same thing. I jump on the bed. I thought I saw it like go down, like it was a spring action bed and everything else. A spring bed. A spring bed. Oh, hi! Did I startle you? If you want to go up to the third floor, don't you? 
Well, I'm afraid that you'll have to go find whatever's missing from this frame. If you manage to find it, I'll let you go upstairs. Bow is Bo is such a harsh boo. Testing her guests like this. <laughs> I think this lady Bo is already mad. I'm guessing she is because she's already having us go... She wanted to come meet us, but we have to go and pretty much solve puzzles to get to her. Alright, so I need to go play the phonograph music. Here's the record. Tap A to play the record. You gotta have rhythm. Don't press it too fast or too slow. If you press B while it's playing, the record will stop. I have to, I guess I'm just gonna keep it on the okay here. Oh, I have to go and chase and get the treasure chest real quick. What's inside? You got the weight. Mario gained 50 pounds. Very heavy weight. How can you use this? <laughs> You've become over encumbered. You cannot carry any more items. You have to drop it, otherwise, you will move slow. <laughs> I think the late, uh, it says the music's on to me. Oh, shoot. Having fun, fun playing the record player on an emulator. <laughs> well, I guess it would be hard on an emulator to kind of, well, not if you have a good controller. I think more or less the problem is input delay, but uh, input, fair, yeah, you're input not going to have that on any good version of this game nowadays, besides <laughs> original and seared. Yeah. Lady Bo gave me one job, to guard that treasure chest. She's going to punish me so bad if she finds out about this. Oh well, I may still be okay. <laughs> It's not like you can get anywhere without knowing how to get use that weight. Oh, I know how to use it. We gotta use it down on the down on the floor with the, the spring action sofa and the chandelier. Cause now we can put that weight on the chandelier and that keeps the thing open so I can go and use the thing. Good thing I saw that first, you know. <laughs> Boo, you had one job. Oh, if you played this on the emulator, that blue bar would not show up. Oh, that's kind of silly. Yeah, that sounds like a graphics bug at that point. Yeah. That's probably an issue with a lot of early day N64. Has she already messed up too? Project 64, because that's a terrible emulator. Yeah, <laughs> it is. I don't like Project 64 very much. Yeah, it's just super terrible. And yet, still the only way, real way to play Mario 64, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Did you try that, um, you said that the HD, um, N64 HDMI thing wasn't very, like, it was kind of meh. It, it, it's overpriced, that's the problem, because it's okay. literally just S-Video over HDMI. Yeah. So for $150, that's way too expensive. Yeah. I explained, I, I kind of figured as much. Amber got a... What was it? The HDMI thing for the Wii? Mm -hmm. And you've been using that. It's a lot better. I've been thinking about getting the same thing for the GameCube. Yeah, the the, the one that is for the GameCube is actually a good one because it's actually pulling from the digital. So there's an actual high quality difference compared to N64 where you're not getting that unless you mod it. No matter what. Yeah. Which kind of sucks. So. What's in here? Oh no! You gotta play this silly mini game again. We gotta play that Mario Party One game again. Mario, welcome. If you want these boots, you must guess who holds them, because these boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, I'm gonna use these boots to walk all over you. The lady bow, the lady bow will be very angry if we let him get get them too easily, fellow boots. Do your best, like we practiced. But do a better job this time, guys. Oh, I see. You guys are doing a better job this time. Well, too bad for you. I already saw where it's at. I'm not even going to read the text message because my eyes on the booth. This one. Where are you? <laughs> give, me, <laughs> give me the boots. 
Y'all think you're all smooth by throwing in between each other. You guys were up in your ante this time, but guess what? I got it. <laughs> I have fast eyeballs. He's in so much trouble, trouble, but he's already dead, so nothing really bad can happen to him, anyways. Yeah, he's like, "What is he gonna? What's she gonna do to me? Kill me? Ha! Already dead. I guess she. I guess she could just, you know, play horrible music and torture him with that. But yeah, <laughs> I regret, regretted playing Donkey Kong 64 on an emulator. Oh gosh, I can't only imagine if you don't have a good computer for that. That game already has bad frame rate issues. So Yeah, well the biggest problem the emulators have is that they don't emulate that and if you don't want the right slow it's actually unstable. Yeah. Like for reference sake, the intro cutscene for the game on the Wii U version, because it's emulated, goes majorly. <laughs> you can now and now you can do the spin jump by pressing A again while in the air. Okay. No, boo hoo! You, you guessed right. Go on, take them. Oh, boo! Lady Bo's really gonna be going to flip out on us. You said that last time. Y'all suck. Y'all suck at your job. Oh, it's just a ground pound. Why? Why didn't they just call it ground pound? Oh, is that what th that did? Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, why didn't they just call this ground pound? They call it spin jump. That's that, that's a different thing than what I imagined. Yeah, especially because you do have a spin maneuver in the game already. It's a little yeah. inaccurate. Yeah, th this move. It's like, th this is what I, I would, if I did that in the air, that would have made more sense. Oh, there's a shark down here. Not to sell any items to Mario. You're him. Hey! You know, that's discrimination, dude. You can't do that. I only sell to the green Mario. Oh, oh so you mean just come in as Luigi and then you'll get it? Uh, maybe, maybe I could just, if I had an emulator, I could just, you know, put the green texture over Mario and be like, I'm not Mario. What the heck are you talking about? This ham is not, you know, me. No, I'm Luigi. <laughs> no, what's your name? Mario. What's your last name? Mario. You're Mario. Mario? Yes, Mario Mario. I still need to go see that movie. I haven't actually ever seen that movie. <laughs> I mean, nowadays the yeah. Blu-rays are dirt. Yeah, I can't believe as much. Boing. That's a stop noise. <laughs> There's a hidden floor panel in the near the star piece is underneath the floor panel. Press A while jumping. Boost of luck. Can you find it? Okay, well, let me go find the star piece real quick. Doing. Like I said, that's a stock noise. I'm trying to find the star piece. Hold on. And that's the entire stream, everybody. <laughs> nah, it wouldn't be the first. Fishing anyone? Oh, yeah. I, I guess that did happen, didn't it? What? what happened? Oh, I'm just... I'm sitting here trying to ground pound all these four panels because the boo said there's a hidden four panel with a star piece. That movie was was good and not bad i heard nah, i heard it was horrible. I, I have seen it was yeah i seen like clips of it and doesn't really look good personally but i know it's, it's all subjective critically i know it's horrendous well i think people, critics hated it you know i think people like it for the wrong reasons it's like yeah you know i un unironically like sonic 06 does that mean sonic 06 is a good game hell no but it's just like, yeah, I still, exactly. uh, like, you know, it's one of those things just like, you like it because it's so bad. Of course, now, back then, if you said that if you liked certain games that were bad, 
people make fun of you for that crap. I'm saying, why would you like that? But I know it's like it's now kind of like culturally, um, well, not culturally accepted, but more like more accepting of people liking stuff. It's because you know everybody's like, well, you like what you like, you know. Yeah. I like Sonic Lost. Well, that and also nowadays popular to hate on stuff. Yeah. I like Sonic Lost World. I don't think it's that bad of a game. No, it's fine. Fine. It has issues, but I think it's a pretty solid game overall. It's They tried to do something different, and, you know, in my opinion, I thought it was okay. You know, they were trying to steer away from the boost formula, which I, I'm thankful now going back to playing Forces. I'm just like, eh, I kind of am getting tired of the boost formula. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's stale, so I'm glad to see and people hate it, so they reversed oh, it. Oh, there it is. That was a bad idea. Did you find it? Yeah, see it here. Wait. Yeah, the biggest problem I have with Lost World is just flat out difficulty in general. Like, the game is very, very unbalanced in a lot of areas, especially if you want those stupid... Yeah. I think it's a horrendous game when you're going for the Red Rings, but it's a fun game when you're not. It's like, um... Yoshi's Crafted World. It's fun to play. Pretty much. But it's 100% that. 100% is it's not horrible. It's not. Yeah, it's not worth the time to 100% Yoshi's World Crafted World. Yeah, I got it. I got it, Celtics. Thank you, though. <laughs> it took me a couple minutes just to figure out where I was supposed to ground pound. Okay, I'm guessing I'm gonna need to use the. Can I use. Can I use the ground pound on this? Now, what, what was the point of that? That was weird. Well, I need to see if there's a place where I can use the ground pound at. I thought I saw some things earlier. Like a wooden floor somewhere. Yeah, there's one right here. Oh, look, I'm on top of the bookshelf. Alright, uh, Paracarry. Lifts me away here. What's this? You got Boo's portrait. Portrait of the old male Boo. I'm guessing that goes over to the freaking painting. So, if you jump into it, that'll take you to Big Boo's haunt, right? <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> I was actually thinking about playing, or trying to finish up Mario 64 on stream, because I, I, I really want to, because I actually want to try to finish that game, because I got to, like, I got to Big, well, Big Small World, is that what it's called? Yeah, so, it's like the 13th world again. Yeah. I got to there, and then I never, never finished it, I should have, but. So you're a game at that point. Yeah. Because that's pretty much near the end. Same with Mario 3D World, the game is tedious 100%. I mean, 100%ing in terms of, like, stamps, yeah, but I feel like... Yeah, because that was bad. If you're trying to 100% it normally, like getting all green stars and all that other stuff, I know you have to get all the top of the flagpoles to, to get to, uh... Um... Get to the Champions Road. Yeah, but... you need time. Top of flag poles, all green stars, and all stamps to get there. That was. Oh, you need so all champions stamps too? road. With... Yeah, you need all the okay, stamps. I the only ones that don't count are the stamps for getting the top of the flag pole for every character. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get real women. Okay. I didn't mind it as much, but yeah, the, the game is really bad to try to go for completion in multiplayer because that's an impossible game to beat in multiplayer. With the... Yeah. Like, there are some levels that just flat out not designed for multiplayer. Can I jump? Can I do the ground pound? There's a star piece. Cool. Got another star piece. That was all that was in here, I'm assuming. I'm gonna go up, up and put the, like, Champion's Road. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, Champion's Road was... You know, I I if I had a favorite Champions Road, I think 3D World's my favorite one. All right, so that wins by default because that's the only, only Champions. Well, you mean Perfect Run? Perfect Run. It's kind of steep. 
that's what I meant. Sorry. <laughs> Champion drove's kind of easy with two to four players. Just buy a few Wiimote or Wiimote or Wiimotes. I'm at, I'm thinking at the point now, who doesn't have a bunch of Wiimotes just laying around? Yeah. <laughs> Is it a get Wiimotes for cheap? Yeah. I love 3D World too. I think it's one of my it's a one of my favorite Mario games. To be perfectly honest. Yeah, I can hardly like wholeheartedly agree with that one. And it's never going to get ported to the Switch at this rate because of the stupid Wii U gamepad, just flat out. Yeah. Everyone keeps on thinking that, but then there's a bunch of levels that require touching, blowing, and Captain Toad. Yeah. Oh, that feels better. It's nice to be back inside my frame after so long. All right then, I'll help you go to the third floor, okay? Jump towards the drawing, and I'll take care of the rest. Oh, it really is Mario 64. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> Say hello to Bo for me. Okay. Super Mario 3D World is my second favorite 3D Mario game. I'm glad I made it. I'm glad I made it to Super Mario Maker 2. Yeah, I, I like 3D World a lot. I don't know what my favorite Mario game is. I want to say Sunshine because of nostalgia, but I know Sunshine has issues. I know Sunshine has a lot of issues, so I don't know if I want to say that it's my favorite one. I like Galaxy a lot, and I even like Super Mario 64. It's hard for me to pick a favorite of that game. Yeah, there's just so many good ones. Yeah. Finally arrived. You took your sweet time, huh? I was testing to see if you'd live up to your reputation. How are the tests? Tough? My name is Bo. I'm glad to finally meet you. I'm Bootler, the butler. <laughs> I'm Lady Bo's humble servant. The reason I asked you here is that I need a favor. Bootler, give him the rundown. Of course, my lady. Mario, do you know the area near near here called Gusty Gulch? The hill raises at the top of the gulch, and upon it sits the castle of Tubba Blubba. He's a monster, and he eats... us. Ghosts. Boos are his favorite food. Many friends have been eaten. We've tried attacking the evil fiend to save our friends, but Tubba Blubba is far too strong for us Boo to slow him down even slightly. He seems invincible. That's why he's known as the Invincible Tubba Blubba. There is hope, however. If rumors are true, then Tubba Blubba has a secret that he closely guards. And that secret is probably something that relates to his weak point. So, Mario, I want to find out his secret and defeat him. You do, you'll do it, won't you? Of course! You'll get your reward for doing us the service. If you beat Tubba Blubba up, I'll let you have this. Oh, it's a star spirit. Tuh. I kind of figured as much. Mm, Mario, I'm sorry. We must meet in such dire situation. My name is Skolar. I escaped from Tubba Blubba's castle, but... I was quite weak in states when I made it outside. As a result, I couldn't go back to the sky at first. I tried to head for Shooting Star Summit to make a, the leap to Star Haven, but I became lost in the forest. While hunting a way out, I was captured by Booze, and now here I am. I don't know what to say. What do you think, Mario? Not such a bad deal, is it? You would have to fight. You would have to fight Tubba Blubba to save the Star Spirit anyway, right? This way, you'll help us Booze too. Besides, I'm going with you. I'll help you, help you like no one else can. My lady, what did you just say right now? You? At Tubba Blubba's castle? Quite out of the question. You'll get eaten. <laughs> I simply cannot allow you to put yourself in such danger. Still, still your tongue, Bootler. I've seen too much suffering caused by Tubba Blubba. I wish to see him punished with his, my own two eyes. My incorrigible eyes, because I don't have- I'm dead. <laughs> Besides, Mario will need me. 
There's no way he can reach the castle without my powers. Oh, alas, then Lady Ibootler will accompany you. It's my sworn duty to see no harm befalls you. The ancestors demand it. I will be at your side always. You stop this nonsense! I'm not a child anymore. I will be fine by myself. You wait here on my return. L lady Sigh. Is this alright, Mario? I'll join up with you until we oust Tubba Blah Blah. But Bo has joined your party. Like it or not. <laughs> Press down on the C stick to make her make you make you both become transparent so no one will notice you. While you're transparent, objects will go right through you. But if you move or press down, uh, press down on the Z-Stick, you won't be transparent anymore. You'll return to normal. While in battle, she also slaps enemy silly with her sm smack attack. Or use out of sight to make you both become transparent so you can elude enemy attacks. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Where's your bow and arrow? Well, you know, I'm not Link, so... <laughs> how, does, how does something eat a ghost? I don't know how something eats a ghost. I mean... I guess they must have a real big craving for ectoplasm. I guess if they had, if they had the same technology in their mouth as, like, the poltergeist does. I don't know. How does the poltergeist suck up ghosts? You ever wondered that, Lester? I've science. <laughs> it's a video game. Let's question the logic. Blah blah, blah 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 eats ghosts, and they don't phase through him. <laughs> His poems a TJ's poem. <laughs> you think Tubba Blubba would have the common sense to come to the booze mansion at any time? <laughs> I'm very punny. I'm I'm very punny too, Julian. <laughs> Okay, so if we push down and become transparent. Uh, I mean, I can see that being useful for, like, some of the, like, if there's, like, bullet bills coming towards you or something like that. And you're on, like, a conveyor belt or something like that. Hush up, Bootler. You quite, you, you be quiet and take care of the mansion while I'm gone. Sigh, sigh. <laughs> he just doesn't want his master to get eaten. Was this a two-room entryway to the same room? I think so. Yeah, that was the same. Okay, so... Didn't matter which door I went through. Okay. So we gotta go to the Gusty Gulch. This mansion has been pressed down for years by Lady Bo's and ancestors. It's so comfortable, so nice and gloomy. The dirt on the walls, the splintered floorboards. It's really one of a kind. No, it just sounds like this house needs to go on uh, webuyhuglyhouses.com. <laughs> Alright, let's go and uh, heal up real quick. I, did, I, I only took one damage that whole entire time I was in there, but that's okay. Alrighty, let's go down this way. I think this is the right way. Go ahead, open it. Oh, hi, booze. And suddenly it became dusk. So, Mario, we're on our way. Are you scared? I don't know. Are you scared? Alright, I'm guessing we're on our way to Gusty Gulch now, Amber. Do you remember? Yeah, you remember how far you got? Yeah. Ow! Oh yeah, I forgot I still had zap zap tap on. Uh, I'm gonna actually go tattle on this guy real quick. So far you're enjoying Final Fantasy set. Well I'm glad you're enjoying it, Celtics. I know that I I've been trying to play it myself because I wanted to play it. Okay. 
go ahead and tattle. This is kind of Hyper Goomba. Hyper Goomba are crazy, uncivilized Goombas living in Gusty Gulch. Max HP is 7, attack power is 1, defense power is 0. They sometimes charge their power before attacking. That charge attack will take away 8 HP, so watch out when they start to glow. A good idea to use bow or an item to become transparent. The attack will miss for sure. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll just gotta keep that in mind then. There's a lot of games I need to finish up. I've been started. Like, you remember last year when we tried recording Final Fantasy VII? I still haven't gotten that far in the game when we started that. Yeah, that wasn't even that far in, I think. It was like, what, three hours in? Yeah, or something like that. It was like, we got out of Midgard. I just remember that. Uh, I'm cautiously optimistic about the remake, because on one hand yeah. it's looking really good in its current stage, on the other hand I'm really hating the separated into chapters. I don't like that selling either, that. I think that's stupid by the opinion. I think I it's going to become a very expensive game. I mean, I'm excited for the game, but I'm also just like, I don't agree with the idea of putting it in episodes. I'm like, I get it, they want, you know, it's a big game and everything else, but... Come on, man. If you're only charging like 60 bucks for both those for every like chapter, I just know it. And it's coming out at a really bad time too, because it's be coming out on the very tail end of the PS4 lifespan. You know, episodes two and three might get shifted over. The they may not even just finish making them on the PS4. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I that's what I'm worried about. Which is obviously going to delay it more if that would ever happen. Yeah. Looks like there's a door key around here. Or there's a door key leading to a windmill. It's locked, you can't open it. Well, I don't know. I'm playing through Final Fantasy VII too. That's cool. I, I need to go... That, that, that's one of the reasons why I had that game up um, on the pole uh, earlier. <laughs> when I remember before the game started, play, I would start playing this gun. Because I, I would. that was one of the games I wanted to try to beat on stream too. Because... It'll kind of give me a reason to play it, if you know what I mean. I don't know if I'm going to play it any, uh, right after this one, because, well, <laughs> I don't want to do two RPGs in a row. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, it'd be very tiring. I'll be tired of it. I kind of get... I kind of want to mix up type of game I play before, you know, switching to the, the same genre. I don't like playing the same genre multiple times. I mean, I, I'm like that with my Let's Plays, too. Oh, okay, so you have to move it back and forth. Okay. Matt, Brother Matt doesn't want to be ripped off. <laughs> well, I mean... I don't know. I, I think it's silly that they just, they, they're just they're putting it all on two discs or something like that. It's just, or not even two discs, it's like, sorry, I meant to say that. A multiple episodes. Well, it's very uncertain. Yeah. That's the big problem, because they've already been asked, what's your plans for, like, episode two and three? And they said, we haven't thought about episode two yet. Like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. It's like, it, on one hand, it's good to take in so much time for just a Migar section, so it's going to be flushed out. Oh. On the other hand, oh, that doesn't give me hope for this game coming out in the next deck. Like, fully. No. There we go. Telegraph attacks. You know, I'm just... They are about ready to do their charge attack. That would have done 8 HP and that would have probably killed me. Alright, I'm gonna... What is it? Power gun? I didn't do as much as I wanted. That's gonna. This is gonna hurt. Ow! That did a lot. Now I need to go and see what in the heck. Um. 
Bo Bose is weird. Just it says you have to tilt the stick back and forth. I was like, I was going yeah, really fast. You're basically mashing on the, the stick backwards. It's kind of awkward. From what yeah, I that is kind of awkward. Lady foot with the bitch slaps. Maybe an unpopular opinion here, but so far I enjoyed nine and ten better story wise. I, I'm kind of the same way, Allison. I like nine. Nine's probably my favorite. Nine, nine and ten are probably like my favorite ones. Yeah, I hear a lot of people actually just fly out. But they kind of prefer nine over seven. So it's yeah. like, I think it's flip flop between seven and nine being like the cult class. Nine's kind of beginner friendly. And I like that because of that reason. Funny I'm LPing another Mario game after I finish start Mario RP Odyssey. <laughs> the cool jerk. <laughs> I mean, I understand they want to go all out since people love Final Fantasy, love Final Fantasy 12, but I also feel like they bit off more than they can chew. I think what she meant. Did you mean to say Final Fantasy 7? I read that as 12. That's Roman. <laughs> I think 7's B I I, not X I I. <laughs> yeah, I can understand. Because no one likes Roman numerals. Yeah, that's like, why do we still use Roman numerals in 2019? <laughs> yeah, Square is the only people I actually see who want to. Alright, I know, Allison. I, I was trying to make sense of what you said. I'm sorry. Oh, Lady Bo, what a surprise seeing you. You know, your ladyship, you really shouldn't come around here. It's dangerous. Tell the level could come up here anytime. I know, we came here to teach that type of blah blah a lesson. Bring him on. When was the last time he came through here? Why, just yesterday, lady. It was horrible. He, uh, this time he ate Hubert. Oh, it was gruesome. Poor Hubert. It was so dark and depressing. What a terrific boo. Oh no, not Hubert. Oh, Tubba Blubba, he must be stopped. Listen, everybody, don't fear. We're on our way to defeat Tubba Blubba once and for all. That monster has eaten his last boo meal. Oh, lady, your bravery is inspiring. But you know he's called the invincible Tubba Blubba. Please be careful, okay? Not Hubert! I like 9 and 10, but downside, you can't turn the random encounters off. You can in the PS4 version of a 9. You can turn them off. Yeah, the, like the HD version. Which is why nowadays there's no reason to go back to the PS1 versions. You just play the HD versions. There's so yeah. much better. I mean, Pokemon fans, including myself, use Roman numerals for Pokemon Generations. I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, I understand. <laughs> it's just like, it's hard. I know it's hard for people to remember what Roman numerals are anymore. Did you know you can walk slowly and stealthily by moving the control stick a little bit? You can use this technique to walk quietly and avoid waking sleeping people. Dad. You gotta watch out when you fight Hyper Goombas. They charge up their attack power and then they'll leash it. The best thing you do is to get charged up and get, get out of sight with Lady Bow. Okay. Yeah, I knew that already. We found out. We had a friend who escaped from Tubba Blubba's castle the other day. And he said, the key to solving the secret is inside the innermost room. Pay attention to both the heart and body, and don't. Then he just, just as his, it just as he was finishing, Tubba Blubba ate him. Oh my. I wonder what the rest of his message was. Gosh, that's just horrible. I mean, I hate laughing at that because that's horrible, but it's just like, I mean, this is a cartoon. Eating ghosts is kind of silly. <laughs> Rip Hubert. He will always be remembered. I just did a dumb <laughs> wrong. You didn't do a dumb, Allison. It's okay. Something Solid Snake couldn't do in MGS1. What? I don't understand what you're saying, Celtics. Okay. So. Heal block here. Oh, hello, Boo, I guess. Poor effort. Sorry, I had a weird dream last night. A dream voice said, Sometimes you must turn and run away. and must run and run until you reach the tower with the spinning veins. 
something like that anyways. What could it mean? That means that there's something to do with that windmill we just saw. My friend escaped from Tubba Blubba's castle. He claims that Tubba Blubba hides something incredibly important right next to his bed. I wonder what it could be. I don't think he can go in these doors. Yeah, he can't go in these doors here. Hello there, you're going up going up to beat Tubba Blubba, right? Yeah, get revenge. He'll never eat another ghost. Never! Especially not. Oh, oh no! Tubba Blub is coming! Everybody hide! Lady Bo, you have to hide Mario! Mario, we have to hide! Use my power immediately! Press down on C-Stick! Everything's cool, lady. He can't see you. Nope, there's no way Tubba Blubba can see you right now. Err. Mmm, looks yummy. I need snack. No, he ate the boo! <laughs> Erp, a little tangy, but good. No, he ate the boo! Ah, he was a oh, boo anyway. Oh, Stanley! Oh, the horror of it all! Why is he not trying to ghost not hiding? Because he was dumb. That's why. Tiptoe past the guards. Well, I mean, the guards aren't that dumb. They can usually tell if somebody's tiptoeing behind them. Stanley, no! Uh, why, you too? Uh, double Blubba ate Stanley. Stanley, he ate Stanley. I can't believe he. I just saw Stanley get eaten. Oh, I'm going to be sick. Oh, true destiny. <laughs> the names. <laughs> They're just normal boo. <laughs> They're just normal boo names. I'm going a long trip. I need a snack. So that was what Tubble Blubba looks like. Yep. Oh gosh, I got hit by a, hit by the first attack. Stanley. Oh no. no! Not Stanley. Yeah, he's just looking down from us from heaven and saying, "Don't make me come down there, you punks." <laughs> Some boo who should be named Wilson, so we can shout Wilson. <laughs> oh gosh, I haven't seen Cast Went in forever. You haven't seen it. I haven't seen it in forever. I I want to go. I want to watch it again. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen in forever. This is over a movie year for yeah. us. It's a hypercleft. Hypercleft have more defense power than normal clefts. XHP is 4, defense power, attack power 3, defense power 3. They sometimes charge the power for attack. That charge attack will take away 8 HP, watch bubble, it's the same as the Hyper Gamer. Their defense power will fall to 1 if, they, if you use an explosion to flip them over. In case you hadn't noticed, they have spikes on top, so you'll hurt if you jump on them. Okay, so I need to get bomb out. Bomb out. out. I mean, he's hurting himself by shocking me. Or sho uh, by running into me. So. There, he died. <laughs> I love like Castaway. I like the Castaway too. I haven't seen it forever though. Oh, did you, uh. Did I talk about with you, Lester, about the um, the Mr. Rogers movie that's coming out? Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, that, that trailer got shared around like crazy. Did yeah, it did. They're making a Mr. Rogers movie with Tom Hanks. Okay, I didn't. I can't make that. I'm gonna try to make that real quick. Inch over as far as I can. It, oh, just barely made it. If only those hyper enemies end with Kirby. 
<laughs> oh, hyper <pretty. laughs> Oh, gosh. I'm trying to inch my way as much as the frames will let me, how many frames I can get off the cliff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're using Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is a uh, as Mr. Rogers. I, I like that. I'm excited because I used to watch Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood a lot when I was younger. Oh, I can't reach it. Oh wait, hold up. Do I need to use Coops? Let me see. Cooper. Sorry, Coops is in that was your door. Yeah, I need to use Cooper. <laughs> My bad. You got a dizzy dial. Works. Dazes and paralyzes all enemies briefly. Okay. Now will there be a Mr. Dress Up movie? Probably never. <laughs> oh, I remember my mom and dad used to talk about, about uh, Miss Manners. How do you remember Miss Manners? You ever heard of that? No, I've never heard of it. Yeah, my mom talked about Miss Manners on television all the time. Okay, push to the left. Oh, to the left repeatedly. Okay. I was going back and forth. <laughs> you just have to do it to the left. Back and forth. Okay, I need to switch. I need to use out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. What was it, that one show that I used to watch when I was a kid, too? It was, uh... Bananas and Pajamas. You remember that? Oh my god, that show is old. They're bananas and pajamas. How do you come remember down that? The stairs. <laughs> oh gosh. I, 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 I remember some weird things. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know how you remember that. I don't know. I have good long term memory, but my short term memory sure as well sucks. Because, I mean, Lester can vouch for me earlier tonight. I was like, I was about ready to tell him something and it immediately left my head. And I was like, oh gosh. Can't remember what I said. Also, I just seen your tweet, Lester. What the heck? What'd he say? He's moonwalking in Mario. He moonwalking in Mario. I can't have I found a glitch level. I found a glitch level? They used, they used, the, they used the black hole glitch, which stacks objects on top. Even when objects aren't supposed to be, like, you know, pipe. Yeah. But it's like, wow. I could see that getting taken down fast. Yeah. Because that's a glitch. And that's against T.O. It says makes Mario transparent and vulnerable for a short time. Uh, I don't know. Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Yes, I watched that show a lot when I was a kid. I bought the toys and I had everything Thomas related. I, I had a fascination with trains when I was a kid. I love trains, just in general. Gilla Gilla Island. I used to watch that show too. Golly, there's a lot of shows that I used to watch. Bear in the Big Blue House. Remember Newsles? I remember Newsles too. Oh, look, a letter. Uh, letter is to Feisty. Oh, Feisty. Near the entrance to Forever Forest. Ow. Gilla Gilla Island used to be on TV. Like, when I went to my babysitter's. Well, we usually get we got there like five o'clock because you know dad had to go to work mm -hmm. and it took like 45 minutes to get there and he'd be there at seven so and I drop you guys off before we used to watch uh, with the babysitters that was always the first tv show that and digimon the green ones and digimon used to be on there um, 
need to use explosions, so I'm gonna change over to Bombat real quick. Oh my god. There's <laughs> so many of these shows that I used to watch when I was a kid. Uh, Between the Lines was another one. And I used to watch, uh. What else was it? I mean, we watched Arthur. But I think everybody's seen Arthur. This guy's just gonna end up killing himself on me. Well, that'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> that means save you the work. Save me the work. You wonder if the hype train is still a thing? Yeah, I mean, the hype train's still a thing. Every freaking, like, Nintendo Direct, there's a hype train going on. Yeah, it just updates over time. It just updates over time, yeah. It's just people are so mean with everything else, half the time you don't really see it. And it gets updated every time, instead of, you know, Reggie's face was usually on the, t on the, on the face of the hype train. But since he, you know, he, you know, he retired, they put uh, Doug Bowser's on there, and it had uh, Reggie and I want it up in the sky in heaven. Reggie's not like dead, though. Reggie's not dead, though. It was just like... Yeah, that, that one I don't agree with. But I don't like, know. Guys, he's alive. Why, does, why do people think when he retired, that means he just... I know. So. Arthur, he's an idiot, yeah. You guys got reboot, right? Yes, we got reboot. I remember watching that show. Okay, what do I need to level up? I think I promised Firepower. Firepower. I think you watched too much TV as a kid. You I did to watch new too much TV as a kid. You need to get out something. Well, I didn't have friends to play around with when I was a kid. I was kind of a lonesome kid when I was growing up. I stayed to myself a lot. I remember, like, uh, Jackie Chan Avengers. Watched that show a lot when I was a kid, too. I actually have my run, because like, I like Jackie Chan a lot, because I watched a lot of his movies. I don't know. That would be kind of redundant. Yeah, they tried, I think. I think they did. Just I don't think it's making track or didn't at the time. I don't know. I remember hearing about that years ago, and then that was it. Yeah. Um, power balance. One plan continues to miss action. I can't do that right. Now that they've got the whole um, ground pound thing, it messes up my timing with the power jump. All my friends back on into video games and much. I Me, mean, a lot of my friends back then were not into video games and much. Yeah, a lot of them weren't either. I, like I said, I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. I think I had one friend in particular, but like um, after after elementary school, he cut, he moved away. So so it's like I didn't really have that many friends growing up. I had. Um, I had some friends in, from around the cul-de-sac in middle school, but that was about it. I didn't do very much around, didn't do very much like, on social activity. I just kept myself a lot, because, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm an anti-social person. But, that's okay. I was a lonely boy. Aww. Well, I wasn't that lonely. I, I just preferred being by myself.
You made the first try. But it didn't do anything. <laughs> um. Are you dizzy down on these guys? Did I do anything? Made them dizzy. I'll bomb it. Quick! I think he can jump on these guys. No. He's got defense of three, I forgot. Oops. That's, that's the one you have to hold. I forgot. My bad. Bonk. I did one damage. There we go. I think I got- I think what I'm supposed to do is like, now that they got the ground pound move, I have to watch when I actually land on top of him to push the A button again. I don't know, it's kind of weird now that I got the ground pound move and it added- they added it to the battle system. You know? I need to get pair carry out. Says uh, most people in middle school don't play much games and accuse me of being annoying. What? That's bad. Shouldn't be doing that just because you like something. You know, that's horrible. Yeah, I mean, I'm just honestly just glad about the school system because people are just really bad nowadays, and I can't imagine how much worse it is in today's yeah, culture. I can't imagine. Because the whole toxicity culture getting worse. But he found a friend and many others now. Yeah, I did. I met, did find a lot of people to be friends with, and I'm happy for it. It's not always defined by actually being physically alone. To be fair, you did choose to be alone, as did I. Yeah, I did. I, it's just because when I was younger, I don't know, I just. Being by myself just was better for me. I didn't have to deal with a lot of things. I don't have enough flower power. Um, well, honey syrup. Here we go. Out of sight. I hate that the out of sight thing takes. I know, I know it's an invincibility thing, but you kind of have to avoid to avoid damage. A lot of damage. You have to use the flower power stuff. I know you can always recharge your flower power too with using a refresh. But this is like, oh my gosh. You don't have any flower power, don't have any items to refresh that. It's like, well, you're kind of out of luck there. You're gonna take some yeah. damage. Yeah, the power bounce is gonna be weird now because they got the ground pound now. Oh, he's got one HP left. Yeah, see, I took six damage from that. Did you need it? Okay, good. Amber's sitting here playing Persona 3 right now. I <laughs> love no, like this game. I know, you're liking that game a lot. That's why I hated my school life. I mean, I didn't hate my school life. I liked school because I was, you know, I, I don't know, I... I like school. I like learning. I like doing all that other stuff. I like doing homework and all that. I know I was a weird kid. But it's just like, I don't know. I just kept to myself for the most part. I had a couple of like close friends growing up. That's it. Oh, let's do a little bit first. I'll do this. I gotta go. I'll be back. Try to be back later. Okay, Allison. We'll still be here. 
Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> How the heck do you get slapped the holy tar out of, but you still don't wake up? You know, there's a move in Pokemon called Wake Up Slap. That's what you need in the morning. Yeah, that's... I mean, nothing. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say anything. The clankety clank on my controller, so. Now, like, beat the GameCube. Nothing can probably hear in a different room. Yeah, that's true. And that's why I love noise gates. It's not like Christmas Just in shut July. Shut it up. <laughs> it did sound like Christmas. I have 12 star points. Learning, making a living. <laughs> oh, you'll be questioning that on Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Oh, because of the GameCube, because it's on the GameCube with climbing controller. The joke's on you, I'm playing with a pew. <laughs> joke's on you. I'm playing with the wave Except wave birds are kind of, you know, you said that all wave birds are kind of like dying at this point. because Yeah, they're... wave birds nowadays are just garbage because the, the signal they use is very prone to interference. Yeah, because it was. So they're not. Go ahead and say it, Lightstrom. I'm sorry. No, no, sorry. Like, no, like the signal is very prone to interfere. Signals. Yeah. And it's the same stuff that like everything broadcasts off. Yeah. Internet. Your computer, like all. So it's prone to just picking up that stuff. It's like, eh, yeah, well. I literally have a wave bird that I have right next to my desk, hooked up to my console that's like a foot away, and it, it's worse than a wired controller. <laughs> that close. That's how bad wave birds are. Yeah. I'm gonna go eat dinner. I'll be back soon. Okay, Ethan. Well, have a good dinner. My ability to turn invisible will, and we'll, be, we'll fool them. Okay. Oops. I guess I gotta play Metal Gear, don't I? Yep. Again? Where'd he go? Oh no, the wall master. <laughs> I wish that take that did critical damage like in Breath of the Wild. I snuck up on a sleeping enemy and just backfired. That would be cool. Club up. Or you know, like dumbass did and don't wreck up or something. <laughs> More dumbass. <laughs> Freaking Lester, you got me on a donkey binge now. Hey, they're good. <laughs> yeah, the donkey binge is fun. They're too good. Donkey videos are funny. This is Clubba. Clubba's are the main guards of Tubba Bulba's castle. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. They often sleep on the job, so if you walk slowly, you won't wake them up. They may look big, but if you use the actual command prop perfectly, they're not so tough. I need to learn how to use the power bounce now. Okay, I get it now. All right, the the the, the ground pound automatically activates. I don't have to push A in the air to activate it. It just you, I have to watch until Mario's about to land on top of him, then push A. Oh. Just like the other ones. So that, that's how it works. I thought I was I thought I was pushing A to activate the ground pound. Oh thank you, Kira, for the host, by the way. I appreciate it, man. Wait, I gotta make mine a club of sandwich. I'm gonna I'm gonna club a you one. Haha. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm home from shopping. How's everybody? I'm doing okay. How are you doing, Kira? Oh, you made it to Tubbo's class. Tubbo's castle. Almost said Tubbo's castle. Uh, Tubbo's castle. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what a classical. Or I know what oh, classical oh, is. Oh, I, but I don't know what classical. I can't say it. You know what classical is, but. Yeah. Yeah, we made it to Tubbo's castle. Starting to learn. I've been having problems this whole entire stream with uh, having the ground pound added to my action command a little bit. Well, like the animation of Mario doing it, and it's throwing off my action commands a little bit. And I didn't realize that I was already doing that, you know? It was kind of an already thing that was already activated. Ow. That didn't make it, that didn't make any freaking sense. Whatever, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's too many of these guys. At least five damage to these guys. Slap, 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 slap. <laughs> Lucky. It says, did you see Jerry get eaten or whoever the booze called Dave? Yeah. We got past that part. Poor Stanley. Stanley got eaten. -ed. Actually watching him eat Stanley. <laughs> I'm sorry, I kind of made fun of that part, but then again, I'm older and I like it's, it's silly cartoons and shenanigans. So I got scared by a lot of stupid things when I was a kid. I, I think I mentioned this story before. I was actually scared of ET for the longest time in my life when I was a kid. It wasn't until I was like seven years old that I finally watched the movie and I was like, "This isn't scary." But that's because my parents they took me to Universal Studios when I was a kid. When I was like two. I don't know why they went there when, I, you know, when I was that young. I wouldn't have had any memory of it. I don't ever remember going to this. But when I was a kid, they took me to the E.T. exhibit. And I guess it scared the crap out of me when I was younger. Because ever since then, I remember just being, you know, frightened of the guy. No, I didn't mean to do that one. Dang it. Oops. Well, I got some flower power back. I meant to use my food item here. There we go. Question why the ghosts just don't phase through when she got eaten. I mean, it's a cartoon. What do you expect? I, I don't understand how ghosts are still, like, you know, uh, how ghosts manage to, uh, Get sucked up in a vacuum, but it is what it is. Gotta go to Star Piece. <laughs> you got the first strike. You got you got scared of the damn temple guards from uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. I mean, I was kind of frightened by them when I was a kid. I mean, they, they were freaky looking. That was another thing that scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. Uh, I don't remember. Do you, you remember Toonami, right, Amber? Yeah. Did you watch a lot of Toonami growing up? Uh, kind of. Um, there was an event that went on. <sighs> I can't remember this now. It was. I'm, it's kind of vague. Of it. Uh, there was an event going on where um, Tom got killed. The host got killed because of uh, this goo that just absolutely killed him. Well, the thing is, though, they showed, like, in the commercials him his death. And it scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. I had to stop watching Cartoon Network for, like, a couple weeks because of it. Because it kept going on air and stuff like that. 
I don't know, I just didn't like that. It was just like, it was kind of like, you know how at the end of Terminator 2, when, you know, <laughs> he's going down the lava? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that. But it was an ear-piercing scream when it happened. So it's just like, that's kind of messed up. Ow. I guess I can't jump on this because it's going to hit me hit the ceiling. You got scared of the Gushers commercial? Which Gushers commercial? Was there anything in particular that was frightening you when you were younger, Glesser? Not in particular. Not in particular. I'm trying to think how you get that, uh, that star piece up there. I'm trying to remember what, uh, what Gushers commercial you're talking about, the Celtics. Oh, look, a power up thing. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. Which party member do you want to upgrade? Well, there's only one left, Bo. <laughs> you want to upgrade this member? Sure, we just got her. Oh, I got a bunch of those last stream, too, Lester. Where I got the upgrades for the partners. Because I went out of my way and looked for them. Ah, so you got like a pretty good upgraded team. In this yeah. Oh, you're Mario. Nice place, huh? As a matter of fact, I came to the castle with my friends to try to find Tubba Blubba's weak point. I managed to find out there's something important hidden in Tubba Blubba's room on the highest floor, but once I got separated from my friends, I just had to hide. But you could go. First, you need to get the uppermost floor, then keep going until you find his room. If you happen to run into Tubba Blubba, don't, I repeat, don't fight with him. He's invincible, really. Until you find a secret weakness, you better just run away. You got that? Okay, so... If I see him, just run away. Okay, I get it. Another thing that scared me as a kid was Pokemon Tower in yellow, but only because I was a dumb kid that went in without the Silsco and the pitch black in my room. Oh yeah, I can understand why that would scare somebody. Yeah, it scared me a little bit when I was a kid. I was like, ah, <laughs> some freaking ghosts. Well, and any of them involves them turning their heads into fruits. Doesn't matter. It's any of them. And because of that, I was scared to eat gushers. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of stupid things on television when I was younger that I watched and didn't think any of it, but, like, there's just a lot of, like, some stupid things that I just was absolutely frightened of when I was younger. I still, to this day, I couldn't watch Toonami for the longest time because I was so scared of that stupid event. I mean, granted, they, you know, that only showed up for, like, a week, but it scarred me to the point where I had to actually start watching, I just watched Nickelodeon, nothing else. Couldn't watch Cartoon Network for a couple weeks. I missed a couple episodes like DBZ and stuff because of it. I was mad at myself upon <laughs> retrospect. Like, why did I do that? But that's okay. Spook. Surprise enemies and scares them away from the fight. Oh, okay. That's what her new power is. Slap, 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 slap. That's fun. Of okay. Alright, we need to do another power jump, I guess. Yeah, these guys don't give very much experience points. 
slap, 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 slap. That did four damage. So if you get a hundred percent, it does five damage altogether. You need to stop trying to put. You need to stop pushing A when he does the ground pound. That I get it on the on on the field. That's how you do it. But in battle, that does nothing. Just so used to doing it. What's in here? You got the castle key. Opens the locked door in Tubba Blubba's castle. We gotta play solid sub. We gotta play a Metal Gear Solid. With these stupid UFO things. Did you get everything in a Mario Maker 2 le yet, Lester? What do you mean by get everything? Because like, there's so much random luck drops in the game. Oh, really? Yeah, like, beat 10 Super X were in endless. So basically, what you're saying is I need the luck of the lock. Got it. I just need to be good. I need to be super, super expert at Mario Maker. My highest score is 7. I still don't know how I did that. <laughs> Because now my highest score when I play is two. Oh, did Matt let one of them catch him? Yeah, I, I got caught by the... When I walked in the door, I forgot all about it, and I got caught by one of the UFOs. Yeah, right when I entered the castle, it happened. <laughs> Alright, so I explored that side. You, you skips. See, you with skips, I'm like, oh, guys, oh, 20 seconds, oh, 20 seconds, oh, 20 seconds. 90% of the levels you're going to find in Super X will just be when levels. Yeah, you just got to just not, you just got to man up and abuse skips. Use <laughs> that. Oh, no, I do skips. And it's like, ah, 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 this is still a thing you can possibly do. I need to actually go back and beat. Yeah, I need to go back and start playing a little bit more Mario Maker. I haven't checked my. Own. I wouldn't do it now. Server maintenance starts in like 10 minutes. Which I keep on forgetting this game gets server maintenance. You don't think about it and you're like, oh, this game has online. If it goes up there. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it functions when it wants. Yeah. You like like best? That's the game for you then. Back to the Wii Brawl days. Oh gosh. I'm seriously still so surprised you don't get punished for skip. Because it's something I would think they would hardly punish for. Because they have that whole leaderboard thing. So it makes you question why they have a leaderboard. Just flat it out. There was something I saw on Twitter the other day. When it comes to like bannings and, and like quitting, rage quitting and all that other stuff. There were some people that saying, I still can't believe, it, you know, Bungie did this, like, ten years ago, and yet they're still, like, the best way on how to deal with rage quitters. And that was, uh, if you rage quit, there's a little prompt that says, you know, rage quitting is frowned upon in the UN UNC UNSC. Um, it says people who quit will be losing experience points. Yeah, you wanna proceed. I know Nintendo does something similar, like Splatoon 2 has that issue, where if you just drop too many times to give you a 10 minute timeout, which then they also stupid. look at that as your actual connection, yeah. which is really stupid. That's dumb. I don't like that. So That's... if you have bad internet, they also penalize you. You shouldn't be ba you shouldn't be penalized for bad internet. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, people just get mad at people who have bad internet, but it's not their fault that they have that, you know? Yeah, I mean, honestly, at that point, don't be like that to Nintendo. You can ban the people for that. Yeah. So if you don't want to play with those people anymore, just ban their account. Yeah, just ban their account. Just don't go on a witch hunt about it, but you just ban people yeah. if they're that bad. Well, you don't get punished for skipping money. You don't like Mark make your own. You lose a life for skipping. Yeah, I remember that. I'm at yeah. or something. Again, that's what's weird about this one. I noticed I played the shell is the only way left. I couldn't get past the first screen, Celtics. It was just yeah, like the I one... found your death path. I, I now I can see how you cleared it. I found the death path. You found the dead path. <laughs> I can't clear it normally. I I try not to find the death path and clear it like that because 
you know, I, I that's not how they intentionally wave the way that they want to beat the level. I get it. So I try to beat it the way that everybody wants to beat it. Everybody's like, well, just find the death path and just, you know, move on. It's like, well, that's not how they want the level to be beaten. You know? I'm gonna just be frank, I hate level to death. That's just not a good design, in my opinion. Yeah, I just... <laughs> it's, 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 if you gotta put that in there, then it, I, you may... Yeah, I get it. I, uh, I... I can't get I can't get past the first one because I have to restart the level every time I lose the damn shell. So it's just like, well. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a reset door would have fixed that. To be honest, a reset door would have fixed that. I don't want to have to reset the level. Yeah. Especially because there's no power bars in the level, yeah. so one hit, you're dead. You lose oh, your shell. You're pretty oh, dead. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Go away, UFO. Now it's off the guys it's a deaf not the deaf pad, dev path. Death path. Like that you we found the path that you uh, use to to beat the level so that way you can upload it. That's what he meant. Yeah, the, the the pipe, like the top that little archway that you made. Like I, I found that pipe and just they like That's what he meant when he says that. Yeah, there's a lot of people that put a path, try to hide it. And, you know, <laughs> when they upload it, it was like, oh, well, they, they try to beat the level and normally. But, you know, if you can't beat the level, <laughs> can't beat the level, I guess. Got D down yeah. jump. Disables enemies' defense, power, and causes some damage. Okay. Let me see that, what that badge does. Well, I know I don't have enough BP. <laughs> Got a lot right now back. Oh, welcome back, Ethan. How was dinner? Dev path. Did I say death path? path? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Dev path. It's a jump version bound a D down smash. I'm trying to remember what that does. I know I probably used it last time. D down pound... Uh, is that what ignores the defense, I think? I think that's what it does. I can't remember. <laughs> I I have the worst memory sometimes, guys. But you can remember TV shows. I can remember stupid ass like little like, like, TV shows when I was younger. Ignores defense. I kinda figured as much as just I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember. Go away, UFO. Ow. It was good. Leftover chicken and pasta. That's good. Holy crap, there's four of them! I think I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... <laughs> Cooper! Can you do something for me, bud? <laughs> I like your Time ability. To go bowling. And I like it when you do, you know, kill all the things. We made another level called Mario as has a plan. Well, if you put your level code in the chat, um, I'll take a look at it whenever I get back to playing the game. Yeah, I would say maybe look at it now, but like obviously I, it starts in a minute. Server maintenance is gonna kill that level. Two. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna probably forget about it. Oh, he says uh, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, that the I've been waiting for this uh, all all out attack in Persona Three has become a meme. It says I've been waiting for this. Like that how people say it whenever they've been waiting for something for a long time. It's like the same category as meme as it's been 84 years or it's been 3,000 years. It's the same type of meme that is. Pretty much, yeah. Lucky. Lucky. I 
I've been lucky two times in a row, man. Two times in a row, man. I tried to drink water and drips on the left side of my face. <laughs> I know, poor Tim. I don't think he says that, that anymore, does he? I, mean, probably, I think he cut down saying a lot of that stuff. Yeah. No one he really says a lot is so happy because of Yoshi in the, in the bathroom because it's just like... That's just how he's really That's just Tim. Yeah. 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 Well, the thing is, like, he's in the middle of, like, five different th things right now, because he started a lot of playthroughs at once. He's even in the middle of that himself. Like, I know I keep on starting things. It's, like, it's hard to keep... That's fine. If he does what he, what, what he does, people watch what they watch, so... As long as you can handle it. That's all that everybody has. <laughs> Don't worry, Matt, the level isn't this hard, that, that hard this time. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to, I'll take your word for it, Tiltix. I'll take a look at it here and like, oh gosh. Oh gosh! This room is a skewer. This room is death. This room is death incarnate. I know what I need to do, but it's just like, man! I'm gonna step away for a moment here, so I'll be back in just a bit, chat. Okay. Take your time, Alistair. What'd you get from that chest? A key. Like, yeah, this room's like scary. He's like, oh my gosh. Who has a room full of spikes? Bowser. <laughs> time to go to Twitter. <laughs> if you're good at button mashing, Bomb Ed's Power Bomb is also a good option. Okay, alright, I'll have to. Remember that. Only problem is it's high FP per cost. Yeah, okay. Don't remember it says, oh look, it's finished cap all over again. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go and sneak up on this tub of blubber and we'll BOW! Right in the Oh gosh. Um, I'm gonna use her fresh because I need flower power. And so, what do you think of the game so far? Oh, I love this game. This game's fun. Yeah, I love this game so far. It's really a lot of fun. There's just a lot of mechanics I gotta use too. <laughs> Oh, I know I like Falcon Door. I'll have to play it the uh, player date. I think that's another game I'll have to stream eventually. Oh, so oh, you can push that clock. Hey, I, I noticed the clock. I was gonna go over to it here in a second. Uh, yeah, man. I was originally gonna do a requirement condition. But it got scrapped because I used a checkpoint. Can you not use, uh, can, excuse me, can you not, um, use, uh, checkpoints and level requirement, like, clear conditions? That's kind of odd if you can't. I've, I don't understand why that would break a game. Unless it's, like, coin-based or something like that. Ow. Said ow. <laughs> you can't use checkpoints and clear conditions at the same time. That's really, I don't know, I'm, I don't understand why that, that's an issue. Why they couldn't do that. But maybe that's just me. Lucky. Oh gosh. Alright, I'm gonna use a refresh again. And you gotta do it in one go. But I think that's one reason why I couldn't put a checkpoint down on my Boom Boom and Pom Pom Fortress level. Because, yeah, because I had a clear condition of beating Pom Pom first before you can go and do it. 
Oh, I have perfect time to come back. Try to clear conditions and have a really stupid check. Yeah. Because you're not allowed to use you're not allowed to use checkpoints at all if you use a clear condition. That's kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't I think the reason why, why they did that issue. is because they don't want people to get a broken level because of that. Where the clear condition is in an area that you can't get to anymore because of the check. I Because I know some people would probably do that. Yeah. I get it. I mean, people are abusing the black hole glitch right now. It would, it would happen. Black hole glitch just as bad. Hey, Iceberg. How you doing? It's a secret passage. Yeah. Boom and pom pom parts was a little hard, but not too hard. Yeah, I'm trying not to make the level too hard. I like the. I, I don't want. I like making, like, really hard levels. It does have some cheese, though. It does have some what? Oh, so it has, has some me. cheese. Yeah. No. Yeah, I remember you showing I me that. I cheesed it a lot. That's okay. I, that's fine. I like it when people speedrun my stuff. Alright, Celtics, I was able to actually download your level, like, a minute before maintenance hit, so I can actually. I've downloaded a whole bunch of levels because I don't want to stop playing this game right now. This has been my background in this game. <laughs> you got the Mega Rush badge. So you may not see it. anything come through because of the servers. Yeah. I'm okay. How are you and everyone else? I'm doing okay right now. How are you doing, Amber? I'm playing Persona. That's yeah, you're playing Persona, so you're in pretty good mood. Lester's playing Mario Maker like he's always been. He's, 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 he's addicted. An addiction. He's got an addiction. <laughs> I could stop when I want, I think. No. No, you can't. You know you can't. Yeah, you got the point. I can't. <laughs> like my Wii U hours. I think I asked you this, but did you get to play Jared's levels? Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember, can't <laughs> Kira, Kira said, <laughs> he said, uh, I'm so mad you managed to beat my time. I am I was proud of pulling off cheese strats, and you went and did it better. <laughs> Unless she's like, I gotta keep my defend my title, man. <laughs> How else do you keep on getting the brekkies? Sneak them out. <laughs> Lester, really? Gotta be known for it. Okay, so Mega Rush Badge increases my attack by four while I'm in peril. That is a very situational badge. Holy crap. So if I got like one HP left, then it's like, oh, your attack goes up by four, so you're gonna do like five damage. I'm trying to go back on the chat a little bit. I think you said that right there. Good situational badge on there. Okay, yeah, I, I knew you said that. I knew it was something someone said it was a situational badge. Do I have any more healing items? No, I don't, but, I mean, what can I do? I haven't saved in a while, I guess I can go back. Got maple syrup. Ooh, where's your waffles? Where's my waffles? Or pancakes. Pancakes, pancakes. I like pancakes better. Is that Splatfest oh, theme? That Splatfest, that Splatfest theme was... I, I was all pancakes, because I'm sorry. Pancakes are like my favorite food. Next to like macaroni and cheese. Yeah, uh, there's so much better. There's so many more ways you can screw up with waffles, but it's really hard to screw up a pancake. Yeah. I don't know either of you anymore. <laughs> it was like, I don't know either of you. She would have been on Team Waffle in the, the Spy Fest. Hey, waffle will be good, but pancake better. Who are you again? Don't at me. Don't at me. Okay, let me go at you. <laughs> I'm gonna go at you. <laughs> Well, one more enemy encounter should get you a level up. Okay, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. I was like 90-something. What's this? Sniff, sniff. I smell something very fishy. Hey! Hey! I took a shower before I came here, man. I always smell like feces. So, all right, that's the sewer transportation for you. <laughs> there. I at you. What you gonna do now? Block, 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 block. <laughs> Mute, mute, block, block. I guess I gotta go make a new username with one letter difference. 
Oh gosh! No! I'm running away. Go away. <laughs> Plus, you can add chocolate chips to pancakes, and they don't. They're and can't ain't good on waffles. I mean, you can add chocolate yeah, chips. Yeah, I mean, it depends. Though. I guess I. How you cook? Cause that could probably work okay with a waffle, but it can't be too hot. We go in his room. Gosh, there's like three of these guys. Oh gosh! Darn it, too late! Too late for me! <laughs> oh, you got the castle key. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's at, um, this round, yeah. Um, yeah, he's actually coded to be invincible in this area, unlike the prologue Bowser fight, where he just, he just has a defense of three. <laughs> so if you hack the game, you could technically, you know, technically beat Bowser at the beginning, right? No. Cause what would be the fun in that? It's probably like in Golden Sun where you can beat Centurus on your RNA in the beginning. And nothing happens, probably. <laughs> Cause it's still coded to like, you lose. Cause it's, it's supposed to be an unwinnable fight. Oh, uh, really? Oh, uh, that, that doesn't sound, you know, yeah. too surprising. Well, I'll get to do that if you cheat. They hard crash. Yeah. Or, you know, it's just coded stupid. <laughs> Throw like a bomb to into a Dodongo's mouth in Ocarina time. It will crash. Speaking of Ocarina. There you go. Oh, <laughs> shit. Speaking yeah, of speaking Ocarina. Speaking of bad coding, Ocarina time. We, we watched that episode of Super Gaming Brothers say where the game crashed. Where the game crashed at the very end of the episode. Yeah. The fire temple. Yeah, because if you breathe the wrong way on the N64, it crashes with a cartridge. I thought that was funny. Yeah, it was funny. And then he got Batman go. <laughs> I'm Superman. <laughs> Superman, sorry. It's like, uh, what happened? I managed to get out of that fight with the skin of my teeth. Yeah, I got a level Mario. Holy yeah. cow. Alright, what am I increasing this time? Uh, I'm gonna go HPS. <laughs> Alright, let's right, help this. I beat your level. It was alright. I, I, my biggest issue is like before the checkpoint, your katsu thing where you require the user to break the blocks. If you lose your katsu, you have to reset the level. That's my only issue with it because uh, I kind of got stuck a couple times in the beginning until I realized, oh yeah, katsu, need. I don't know, it's pretty good. That was too close. Yeah, I know. I was way too close with that one. We beat Sniper Wolf fight right after Meryl gets sniped and the game would crash. Actually, yeah. it doesn't really crash that bad. I mean, no, if you beat beat her with, uh, when Meryl is still on the ground, that's what you can do about. it, though. You that's can do the it? thing, no. You just have to have a game chart beforehand. I'm saving. I didn't know if I was saved already. Wait, did you just save? You should save again. I think you should save again. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan, for telling me to hide, too. I was like, yeah, I gotta hide. And whenever I got hit by him, I was like, yeah, I'm running away. <laughs> I'm not dealing with this. They said he's invincible, so I'm gonna take, take their word for it. I know some people will be like, well, I can fight him. <laughs> like, nah. nah. I ain't man. gonna take that trade chance. Game's been warning me he's invincible. I'm gonna trust the game and say it, that, yeah, I probably can't beat him. Remember 
now because originally you had to beat the level as Cat Mario, but I used a checkpoint. Oh, okay, so that's why. So that's what happened. It was like yeah. a mid-level change then. All right, that makes a little more sense. Hmm, I might be in trouble. That star spirit ran away, and I think someone suspicious is in the castle. It isn't like I initiated a fight with the guy or nothing. <laughs> yeah. I sure don't want to make King Bowser mad. He's scary. He did make me invincible, but if I screw up, he might change me back to normal. Time for some beauty rest. So we gotta tiptoe out of here. Yeah, tiptoe. Just break the treasure open. He won't hear anything. Yeah. Hi there. I'm Yakety Yak. Don't talk back. Faithful and chatty follower of Master Tabo Blubba. A very important job is to guard his valuables. But you don't look like Master Tubba Blubba at all. Uh oh. That means you come here to steal me. The magical key that unlocks the door to Windy Mill at the front of Gulty Gusty Gulch. And furthermore, your goal is to find out if there's a secret inside the Windy Mill. Yes. You're a very honest person, aren't you? Help! Master Tubba Blubba! A thief! Oh, gosh. Alright. What's all that noise? Five more minutes, Mom. Oh, no, he's awake. We have to run. I'm supposed to tell him no, aren't I? He didn't do anything. Did I just not activate him? Or do I have to go back in there and get him? Did I get the item? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I was like, do I have to go back in there and get it? <laughs> okay. Well, I remember how originally you had to beat the levels Cat Marmot had to use check one. Now, for the freaky part is if you. We're scared of how Tubba Blubba is. You just seem seem the intruder Tubba. But first treasure. Looks like Mario is sniffing the bed. Time to run. As the boss would say, run. No, run. It didn't matter. It takes a moment to move, but he will start to chase you. Okay. Alright, well, good thing I got out of there in time. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah, he's chasing for the... You, thief, stop! Oh no, look at the frame drops. <laughs> it's fine, it's probably just switch being stupid again. Yeah. On N64. <laughs> okay, I need to get out of here. Oh, look how Matt just instantly agrees, like, yo! <laughs> Hurry! Oh, hey, that's, that's been their ingest servers the past, like, month. They've been trash. Get the heck out of Dodge, man. He broke his hallway. He killed all his guys! He don't care. <laughs> At last, we've arrived in Tubba Blubba's castle. Are you ready, everyone? Oh, God. Be brave. We must do all we can to help Lady Bo. But what can we do? There's no time to lose the nerves, fellow booze. Our dear ladies fighting against Tubba Blubba himself. We mustn't hes hesitate. Come back here! What, what, what was that noise? Tubba Blubba's chasing you? And he's right on the other side of the door? Gulp. What? You might be able to find Tubba Bulba's weak point. Oh, of course, the windmill at the foot of the hill? You must try! Run as fast as you can to the windy mill! 
We'll hold Tullable Blubba's here. It's too dangerous. He's a madman. Who needs every one the last one of you? Grrr, I want this door open. I don't know how long we can keep holding this. Don't worry about us. Go for our sakes. Don't look back. Okay, thanks. Bye. Thanks, guys. I smell a delicious ghost. Open the door. I know. I'm trying to save. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Get out of here. Let's go to this door. She goes, open the door. Oh gosh. Yeah, he's gonna keep saying that. Okay, it doesn't matter. It takes some kind of new still charge to get you. The lights are cool on every system. He broke this hallway. And he went, to, now they want to help us. Just go and don't look back. Don't look back! Oh gosh, there's a lot of enemies here. No, no, don't do that. The hammer's probably... I think these guys have three defense. Uh, I think they said the bombs help flip these guys over, so... Yeah. I'm gonna try the power bomb. I know it does a lot of damage, but... Or a lot of FP, but... That worked. Okay, uh... I know that hyper guy is gonna come up and attack me, but... Oh, no, unless I... Can't attack the guy in the back. Uh... Well, I guess I can just do what I can, so... I'm gonna get attacked, so it's gonna do like six damage. And he's just gonna kill himself in the process. Save your HP and FP for the boss that's chasing- Oh, oh gosh. Okay. I like this music. <laughs> Does he actually chase you once you're out? I always move too fast to find out. I don't know. I didn't want to take the chance. I'm gonna go refill my FP now. <laughs> I'm ignoring all these guys. They're small fries. They're small fries, and plus I fought a lot of them while I was going up to the, the house anyways, so... <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, well... It's not like the freaking monster. We're gonna have our village right outside the monster's gate. It's gonna eat us. Goofballs. Goofballs, exactly. I'm gonna go and have it for a while, because I'm gonna need her for... Later. Alright, here's the windmill. <laughs> now he won't. Now Yakety won't show. Now, now Yakety can never tattle on me ever again. I guess I'm. I, that was just. Don't say it. You know. I guess it's just what I get for tattling on every, all these other enemies. No entry allowed. Well. Screw your rules. <laughs> you ain't my mama! Really, no entry allowed. You ain't my mama! Absolutely no entry allowed. Like I said, you ain't my mom. You ain't tell me what to do. <laughs> Who are you? It's a me, Mario! <laughs> what? Mario? Did someone tell you that I'm the secret strength of Tubba Blubba? Nah. Someone spilled the beans that Tubba Blubba's in the castle is just a shell and I'm controlling it from here? You can't trust anybody. I can't let you out of here knowing 
the secret of my invincible body. Sorry, but here we go. Uh-oh, looks like we're fighting. Fighting a boss. Actually gonna go ahead and switch out to Goombario, because I wanna know what the heck's going on here. Can I jump on Tubba's heart? Probably has high defense. No. It's a heart. heart. What do you think? <laughs> I'm going I'm going to do this great attack. It's impossible to avoid. I just have to prepare a bit, so hang on just for a second. God damn it, I probably should have kept the bow out. Okay. Well, I can... Uh, uh, you know what? I need to I need to get this out. Yeah, we need to go and do this. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind, right? Good job. <laughs> He's like, how did you avoid my attack? I want to know how much HP this guy has. Oh, he's gonna keep charging and return to me. This is Tubba's heart. You might say, it's the heart of Tubba's secrets! Ha! Okay, that wasn't funny. Max HP 50, attack power 6, defense 0. It has a terrible attack, so hide when he tells you he's about to unleash it. This attack will take away 12 HP. Whoa. Try to beat him before he can do his huge attack again. Trust me, it's dangerous. It's Bo's turn, Tyron, turn to shine. Well, I kind of wasted a turn. I'm going to take damage, aren't I? Okay, well, that's okay. That's okay. I'll just have to keep pushing A button until... Okay, so I did a lot of damage there. I'm gonna get hurt. Ow! 12 damage. Damn. Well. Let's change out back to bow and get back to, to, you know, saving my FP for stuff that matter. Tubba Blubba is a heartless. Oh my gosh, Mario's in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Although the boss music. Good thing you have Bow out. That would have would have took you took you so much damage. Well, I did take so much damage. Hey, Lady Ghost, you look quite tasty. Stick around after the battle. Fighting makes me hungry. <laughs> Blech! You wish you don't have a chance, you ghost gobbling freak. Mario, I'm really mad. Let's beat this thing up. <laughs> did four damage. Holy crap. Power bounce. Because, like I said, this ain't broken whatsoever. He's a charging. This is gonna kill me. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this to refresh. You like the music, Matt? I uh, I like I like the music so far. I'm having a lot of fun. I have I can't really hear it right now because I have my TV down just a bit, so that way it's not you know echoing on your guys' end. So I can I'll probably look it up later. All right, gonna hide. Would have had a heart attack by now. <laughs> hey, Super Spyro, how you doing? I was gonna play this game, but I was playing Thousand Year Door, except that it's on it's on hiatus. Guessing you mean you're just like taking a break. You're from taking the game. a break from it. Yeah. That's, that's cool. I, a lot of people say Thousand Year Door is better than this game, but you know, I have I've only played a little bit of Thousand Year Door. It's like at the very beginning, not much. I've been wanting to play it for a long time, so I'm pr it's on the game list of things to stream one day, so. Holy crap, he does six damage when he just regularly attacks you. That does a lot. My TV down low, so when I record my Switch games, yeah. That's why I just use headphones, personally. 
Yeah. Only got AJ HP left, so. He's not dead. Yeah, he's about dead. I'm gonna go ahead and power bounce, I think this will kill him. I'm good now. Weird camera angle we're doing right now. That's weird. Yeah, it was just like shifting downwards, focusing on him whenever I was doing it. That was kind of weird angle. <laughs> yeah, I have a ton of games to play. I have a ton of games to play too. I started a bunch. A Thousand Year Door is one of my favorite games of all time. Late last year, I purchased Nintendo GameCube just so I could replay it again. GameCube is really good console. It's my favorite console, honestly. It has all my favorite games on it. Really. You guys think there could be another Paper Mario game for Switch? I don't know. Color uh, Splash probably didn't do... not. Color honestly. Splash didn't do very good. So yeah, that's the whole reason why I don't think we're getting our Star Fox games. The same situation. Yeah. I mean, but the Wii U kind of killed either. both those franchises because of... so they're gonna be dormant for a bit. I mean, I can see it happening, but I don't know if it's gonna happen anytime soon. But I'll put it that way. Unless they port. Those yeah, games. I I give them a couple. Once you kill him, he runs away. <laughs> I'm not supposed to kill him? That's why the camera freaked out. Oh, okay. I heard Color Splash wasn't that bad of a game. It was though. much better than Sticker Star, from what people said, but it still didn't like the same kind of it still lacked a lot of the same issues that the Color Splash game introduced, unfortunately. It lacked a lot of, like, the charm that the gameplay has. Yeah. I don't know, it's kind of hard to work. So the... Because it's almost like a completely different kind of RPG. So, Kira, I wasn't supposed to kill him, and that's why the camera was freaking out, because the game didn't expect me to kill him. I have to get out of here. Yeah, he runs away. Okay, I see what you're talking about. Well... He's a coward. Well, he's just a heart. What would you do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Gosh, I have to mash the control stick every time he does the smack attack. Oh great, oh great, oh great. I have I have refresh. I have refresh. I can get some FP back. This is going to hurt if I don't do this right now. Because that's six times three. That's twenty-one eighteen damage, my bad. Can't I can do math, I promise guys. I, I can do math. Math's hard. <laughs> Math's hard. That's only if I defend all of them. If I defend all of them, then that's 18 damage. If I didn't, that's 24 damage. That's ridiculous. I didn't notice the camera freaking out. Because his HP low enough for him to run. Okay, I was trying to zoom in for him during his cutscene, but he was still power bouncing. <laughs> yeah, that, that was kind of weird. I was like, why is it focusing on him while I'm trying to power bounce? And then I, you know, I got to zero and I was like, well, I killed him. And it was like, well, no, you weren't supposed to kill him. He just got down to his range that he runs away. Like, oh. <laughs> I guess it kind of screwed up, kind of glitched the game in a way. <laughs> and do mathematics, he was a bachelor's degree in accounting. Yes, I do. But accountants, accountants don't know, know how to do math. I mean, they do know how to do math, but they don't. They use calculators. Regular people.
Get back here. Get back here, heart. It's time to reunite! <laughs> oh gosh. Super Paper Mario was good, and after that, it went down here at Hill. Well, yeah, Sticker Star was trash, from what I gather. Yeah, and that that was the one that really, unanimously, people said was bad. I, I, because Super Paper Mario is mixed. A lot of fans like it, a lot of fans don't, but I it's like all, like, Super. preferences at that point. I played Super, and I liked it a lot. I beat it. It's fun. Yeah, same here. I, I think it's, like, a fine game. I, I liked it a lot. But again, it's all gameplay preference. You may just not like the real-time platforming style RPG like this. What's your first Paper Mario game? My first Paper Mario game I actually beat was Super Paper Mario on the Wii. That was it. That's the only one I've actually played. So. Liar. Uh, I played a little bit of Thousand Year Door. What are you playing right now? Well, besides this one. <laughs> time to reunite. Oh no, he ate his heart. Oh yeah, I'm feeling so, uh, good. With my yeah, heart. Can I just be the odd guy out and just say the first Paper Mario I beat was Mario Luigi Paper Jam? That counts. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't care I didn't what beat Super Paper Mario, but I was at like the final chapter. Yeah. Fusion, huh? <laughs> I didn't even like Super Paper Mario. But that's fine. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Oh yeah, I'm feeling good. With my heart and body united, there's no way to beat me. Oh gosh. Do I run away from this guy, or do I actually fight him? Oh, I can't run away. Never mind. Well, that is an easy answer. Okay, well. Gumbario, let's come out here and tell me what happened. Tell me what you, you gotta do to Tubba Blubba here. This is Tubba Blubba, now reunited with his heart. This is finally his true self. Max HP is 10, attack power is 4, defense power is 0. Probably. His a hip attack causes 6 points of worth of damage. Be careful because I'm not exactly sure what his other attacks can do. But I think he's definitely weaker than before. I mean, he took a damage point. <laughs> he took a damage point from my zap attack. Alright, I need to get more freaking HP and FP. <laughs> Scan it. It's funny. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I did. Alright, change member. We're gonna go to bed. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, power bounce. Uh, I guess we're just gonna kill him with this. Nope. I guess not. I was going to, but I screwed it up. <laughs> I killed him with the zap tap. <laughs> Yow! Oh, well, that's one way to beat him. 30 star points, holy crap. Yeah, this fight, yeah, this fight's a joke. The heart battle is the true boss, but your rewards are delayed until this one. <laughs> his face. His face. Yeah, every time he makes a weird face like that, it's like, did he just eat like a bad pepper or something? A bad pepper. <laughs> he, he got it, he, he zapped his tongue. That's exactly what happened. Oh, oh, no! With my heart and body united, I'm not invincible anymore! Now I'm back to not invincible, Tubba Blubba! That's so lame! I give up! Look, I'll give back all the ghosts I ate! Forgive me! But he keeps Stanley. But he kept Stanley. I'll get them all back except this guy. He <laughs> stole my lunch money. Fuck this guy in particular, he's staying in my belly. <laughs> There's no perfect guard pressing cool shades in 64. Or pushing B. I was like, pressing cool shades in 64? I was like, Wait, <laughs> what button's what? that? What button's that? <laughs> I want to know that button. It's not fair. You're supposed to be counters and everything. No, I mean. 
I think it, there's counterattacks in the Mario and Luigi series, but in this game, in this RPG, you just defend yourself. That's all you do. Yeah. I'm actually, a really sensitive guy trapped in a huge body. I don't want to. I don't want to be invincible anymore. If it means I have to fight guys like you. Oh, the guy's just self-conscious about himself. <laughs> Serves you right, and everyone who get who got eaten has returned safely. Hooray! But I guess I'd better tell everyone not to scare old Tubba Blubba anymore. We used to love scaring Tubba Blubba night and day because he was such a coward. Oh well, we're not sorry for it. Scaring folks is what ghosts do, so boo on him, ha! Besides, that was a pretty invigorating experience. I've never felt so full of excitement before. And, ahem, it was also a good learning experience. I think I better experience some more of the outside world, so I think I'll accompany you for a little longer. Is it okay, Mario? Of course it's okay, right? Yeah, sure. Done. You're so lucky to be able to travel with me. <laughs> Here you go, Mario. I'm giving you back to Star Spirit as I promised. Bootler, snap to it. Come over here. That was quick. Hey, Mario. He's free now. So we beat Chapter 3. I'm happy about that. Sticker star you should avoid. Color Splash has its moments. I mean, I'll probably play Sticker Star just because I want to play all of them. So, even the bad ones. I need to beat the other ones too, though. I'm sitting here. Yeah, talking the biggest about that problem well. nowadays, if you want to get Thousand Year Door, that's the hardest one. Yeah, find, that's the hardest especially one. Especially right now, GameCube in the retro scene has a huge boom. So, a lot of games are going up in price. Yeah. And that game's already expensive enough. I mean, this game in particular, I have this game on N64 cartridge, and it was like 40 bucks, just that. So, yeah, N64 is kind of hard to come across, too. I mean, most of the stuff's on, yeah. like, virtual console, but, yeah, if you want, like, actual cartridge, yeah, you're going to pay a pretty penny for it. Oh, yeah. After solving the secret of the Invincible Tubba Blubba, Mario and Party set free Star Spirit's Scholar. Now with Tubba Blubba just a bad dream, the Boos are free to haunt to their heart's content. Even the lonely wind echoing through Dusty Gulch seems to be celebrating the victory. At least for now. With newest party member Bo in tow, Mario and friends are ready to take on their next challenge. All right, let's go ahead and say continue. Continue. I wonder how Mario's doing. Do you think he found a way to beat Tubba Blubba? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder too. I'm so worried. What if Mario got hurt? Well, um, it's no use wondering. Why don't we go out and try to eavesdrop again? Mario managed to beat Tubba Blubba by now. Bowser and his followers will be really, really mad, don't you think? Maybe what? Right, Twink. There's no use sitting around worrying like this. Let's see what we can find out. Alright, so we gotta go look for more stuff. Again. Can't go out through that door. <laughs> no siree. There's a new Paper Mario. Are you guys finishing the game 100% or blind? Uh, yeah, it's just blind for right now. I, I've never played this game before. So, yeah, this is my first playthrough of it. I mean, I'm gonna try to get as much as I can out of it, but... You know, <laughs> if I don't get it, I don't get it, right? Yeah, well, the thing is, like, there's a lot of stuff I think I have to also go very far away for, too. Yeah. Which is a big thing, so it's very easy to just miss things, forget. Yeah. And like Chad's saying, yeah, there's very not much you get for 100% in this game. It's more or less just a thing of accomplishment. 
The only thing you'd want to do for benefit's sake is the Pit of Hunter Trials, but even that's pushing it. Yeah. How difficult that is. 100% is a bit too grindy, but it doesn't have any, it doesn't have any bonuses. And the next chapter is kind of meh to me, but not as worse as the chapter six. Oh, okay. Okay, this part's funny. Remember what happens will be literal, so keep that in mind. It can't be. No, no, no. Explain that again, slowly. Your wretchedness. I keep trying to tell you. Tubba fub. Tubba fubba. Tubba blubba <laughs> was defeated by Mario. Well, that's strange, because you told me he was invincible! How can you beat someone who's invincible? Ah, oh, bad timing, Beach. Oh, gosh. Grr, stupid Mario. I guess maybe he found out the secret that made Tom and Blubba not quite so invincible. And then he beat him. Gah! I despise Mario. Really? Your filthiness. We have to come up with another tactic, and quickly. Mario will most likely go to Shy Guy's toy box next. Yes, so we should prepare something there for his arrival. I won't be satisfied just having to him beaten up anymore. We need to do what we need to do is find his weak point and completely humiliate him. Yeah! Kami Koopa, you gotta find out what Mario hates. And Oh, Pit of Hunt Trials isn't in this game. I thought it was. I guess it started in Thousand Year. Either way, that still kind of kind of goes with the other Mars as well. That's the only thing I've ever seen people say was worth doing because of the upgrades. Peach is just standing there with a goofy smile on her face, and I'm just like, yeah, like Ethan said, press the button again. Hey, <laughs> don't just stand there with a goofy look on your face. Like the moment Bowser and Cammy showed and Bowser music played, I literally had the jump scare. Well, he did. Anything else? Now that Bowser would have noticed the secret passage. Um. Gah! For the love of... Why? Why is Princess Peach here? What's wrong with those guards? No, wait, hold on. This is actually good timing. My mischievous princess. We were just discussing the weak points for our mutual friend Mario. So, Princess Peach, what do you know about his weaknesses, huh? And listen. Ah, uh, you... kick him in the dick. <laughs> and listen, you must be honest. Which one of these things does Mario hate most? Goomba, Clubba, or Bushroom? I'm gonna go with Bushroom. Hmm. I see. Excellent. Gimmick? You're giving him power-ups. Yeah. Is there anything that fills him with dread? Fuzzy, Hammer Bros, Thunder Rage. Uh, Thunder Rage. Good, good. And how about these things? Which of these does he hate? Pokey, Koopa Patrol, Koopa Patrol or Super Soda? Give him a Super Soda. He's on a diet, he really hates that. <laughs> He's on a diet, he hates sugar. Ah, oh, excellent, perfect, thanks, princess. <laughs> Be sure Mario can't avoid these things that he hates. We'll beat him for sure. Did you get all that, Kami Koopa? Get going immediately. <laughs> of course you're gnarliness. Mario's really in for it now, or is he? Hmm, I started to wonder for a second there. But then again, King Bowser's ordered this, so I have no choice to obey him. I guess we'll see. Of course you will. My tactics are brilliant. They're pure art. So, Kami Koopa, have Princess Peace taken back to her room immediately. Finally, we have witnessed the end of Mario at last. <laughs> Guards, attention. Take Princess Peach back to her room at once. Yes, ma'am. You guys are stupid. You guys are dumb. You guys are every other simile of the word dumb. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Why in the world would Princess Peach tell you this stuff? <laughs> just because you said, you gotta be honest with me. I'm like, sir, okay. this isn't, this isn't a court of law. I can't, you can't tell me to tell the truth. <laughs> you get sugar high and fall asleep. <laughs> Hello again, Mario. I knew you could do it. I don't know how to thank you. I knew it was the right decision to ask you to help us. You're a great man. Now that I'm free, I can help you. Ha! We got a third level of Star Spirit. Star Energy. Mario can now use Star Storm, a new Star Spirit power. With Star Storm, you can attack all enemies. Mario, I have one bit of bad news. Unfortunately, Bowser's life force seems to be getting stronger all the time. Most likely, it's the Star Rod that's giving him more power. We're not even sure if he's noticing it or not, but there's no question that it's making him stronger than before. We'll have to make much more careful. We have to be more, much more careful in the coming trials. Uh, I'm sorry to leave, but I must go back to Star Haven. The other Star Spirits are waiting for me there. Oh, and if you could, please keep it a secret that I got lost in Forever Forest. Thanks, Mario. Bye. <laughs> are, you guys, are you embarrassed? Your punishment would be to host the story mode in Mario Party 5. Oh, gosh. I think your story mode's weird. Is he really story? I mean, a lot of the sto Star I, Spirits I, I, I Paper can't remember. Mario, a lot of the Star Spirits years. in Paper Mario were in Paper, uh, Mario Party 5. Y'all, I think all of them are featured yeah. in 5, yeah. Good this is hard to remember here. who did what mode. Okay, so I gotta walk all the way back. That's okay. Oh, I nope, I was wrong. Super dual mode. Yeah, that was the one with the tanks. Alright, I like that guy. <laughs> I like the super. That's like the best mode in Mario Party 5. Yeah. There's a warp pipe here. I need to. I guess need to access it here soon. Um, oh, there's a question mark here. I didn't even see. There's a zap room. Or a bolt room. I'm gonna go back to town and deliver. One thing I didn't do in my last stream. No! Wow! Ah, bugs! Get them off me! I'm lost in the freaky forest. So, 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 so scared. Eek! Oh no, it's this guy again. Oh, thank. I mean, aha! Boy, are you unlucky to run into me again. Who's this kid? What a dirty little urchin. He must be lost. Hey, shut up! Shut up! I ain't lost, child. I'm your worst nightmare. Here comes the pain. Yep, this guy again. Oh, don't think I'm vulnerable as I was before. Check this out! More power! Oh, he's got wings this time. Oh no, he's cosplaying. I swear, this guy's like Scrappy Doo. Scrappy Doo is an egg. You won't stop. Scrappy Doo is like. Oh gosh, don't think a star about Scrappy Doo. We'll be, his, we'll be a star in a Christmas movie with Tim Allen. <laughs> For his... Wow, I missed that, that movie with Scrappy Doo in it. You still trigger this fight before you went to Tubble Mansion. You can still trigger this fight before you go to Tubba's Mansion. Yeah, this triggers as soon as you reach Boo's Mansion. Oh, so I could have done this earlier. I think they intended you to do it now, but yeah, someone kind of screwed up with the trigger point. Yeah. Let's just see how you like the new improved Junior Koopa. Well gonna go ahead and tattle because I do that on every new enemy. I'm sorry. I'm like this. It bothers the hell out of me if I don't. <laughs> this is just how I play. I have to tattle first. That's Junior Koopa. I can't even... I can't get enough of this guy. <laughs> Did the little guy get lost in the big bad forest? Max HP 40, attack power 5, defense power 1. Apparently he's grown wings, so he can fly now. You'll have to jump to reach him. He's a bit stronger, so he may be worth to use any items you have to attack him. Except when he gets zappy zapped. 
I'm gonna go ahead and power bounce him, because, like I said, this ain't broken whatsoever. Like I said, it's so stupid. I'm <laughs> like, why is this so broken? Not that I mind it, I'm happy it is. I mean, I screwed up, but like, if I was like really good at this, I could kill like any enemy in the game with this alone. Oh yeah, you can use a star move. You should do the mansion at least first since he has defense now when without the boost upgrade. Yeah. Alright, I'm actually gonna go ahead and check out that star power. Star storm. Oh did that did seven damage? Holy crap. That did a lot. But you had to take like a couple pat Oh <laughs> I forgot he's got a defense of one. Oops. There you go. You died. 21 star points. Ha! 69! Nice! <laughs> I love your mad power bounce skills. Oh, thank you, Iceberg. <laughs> I'm getting better at it. Also, 64 Hat uses RNG to hard cap how many power bounces you can do, so you can't do it forever. Okay, never mind. I thought you could do it forever. Because I was like, if you could do it forever, holy crap. Thousand year door change that so you can do it forever there, but BP requirements are much higher. Okay. Sometimes you can though, but it's really hard to pull off. 69. <laughs> no! Darn it, darn it, darn it! Too bad for you. You suck, dude. Alright, so I think I got everything in the forest. I could just leave. And this will take me back to the beginning, I'm guessing. I got some letters that I had from the last, uh, the last, uh, stream that I have not, you know, turned in yet. I'd like to turn those in in the, the stream if I can remember, because I forgot to turn in all those letters. Oh no, the fuzzy's going to <laughs> He split. Forgot the fuzzy's last, like last stream, they kept killing themselves on me <laughs> because the fuzzies don't do any damage. So they just when they attack Mario, they're just taking one damage because I got Zap Tap on. Yeah, see, he jumped on me and just dies. <laughs> My phone with a side quest coming up? I wonder what side quest you're talking about. Guess I'll find out. I'm trying to get out of this forest. I'm trying to loop, make it loop back, so... Yeah, there's a sign. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to Toad Town. Here we go. Go this way. There we go. Oh, I made it out of the forest. I could kiss this ground. Yachoo! I can make you kiss the ground with a footstool. Okay. 
more like how to get to chapter four. Oh, okay. Now, is this the guy that I need to give a letter to? Mario, behind you! Ah, go, 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 ghost! Okay, uh, let me get Paracarry out. Shy guys have been raising a ruckus all over town, but compared to ghosts, shy guys are nothing. You're Fierce D, the guard of Forever Force, correct? The name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Here you go. Another letter duly delivered. Postman's work is never done. I wonder who Bootler is. Like, no. No! This is a letter from that ghost. It says, I'll creep up on you while you're sleeping. Boo! He loves scaring me. You think he really creeping darkness? Oh, woe was me. I'll never sleep. Get a hold of yourself, fierce D. I stand tall. Fear not. I'll be okay. Here, take this. Got another star piece. I got like two letters I'm gonna need to go send back. And told you take this. It's called a restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> give that. <laughs> then you're gonna solve all, all your problems. It's like, you scare me, I'll scare you. Here's restraining order. <laughs> I almost asked you about the music difference, and now I remember do you have TV turned down? Yeah, I'm sorry. I have the TV turned down because, you know, our mic doesn't so our mic doesn't pick up the thing. I'm, I need to get a noise gate like Lester does have. Yeah, they, they make things a lot easier. I mean, it can still leak through sound, obviously, but not nearly as bad as yeah. just leaving your mic open all the time. The sound. On an unrelated note, I wish that I had a. I was good at Super Mario World. Well, you know what, Iceberg? I ain't that great at Mario games either. Especially, like, uh, um, 2D ones. The 2D ones in particular. The only level I usually have trouble with in Super Mario World is Tubular. But I think that everybody has trouble with that level, though. Oh, no, yeah, no, Yeah, that no. level is just really, really difficult. Because yeah. you screw up one thing and you just die. Yeah. My favorite frying pan. Oh no, the shy guys are taking my favorite frying pan. Whatever shall I do? Um, before we go and chase that shy guy, I know, very breaking the action here, because, you know, that guy could be, like, miles away by the time I get back. Hey, you little scamp, get your hands off. Give me back my calculator. <laughs> Look at all the shy guys here. Can I hit him? Yeah, I can hit him. Let me try to hit him. Oh, wow, other. Kira, is that true? There's a, apparently a thing going on on uh, a report post on Twitter that they're going to update the Mario Maker 2 upload limit from 32 to 64, and also apparently one more time at a later date. If that's true, that'd be really good, because I know people yeah, said 32 good. was too low. That, that's Because really I can good. see that. People have already maxed out the 32 limit within like the first one. Yeah, that's actually really good because I remember people complaining about that when the game came out. Yeah. Here, have this magical seed that I got from last last stream. Brought me seed. Thanks, I'm so pleased. Yeah, and he just put the link to the Twitter article in chat for people who want to see it. Okay, cool. Thank you. I mean, if that is true, then that'd be great. going on. Oh, it's you, Mario. What fortune timing. Hmm? The town seems to be pretty active today, but it's none of my concern. I had That's a dream. That's probably what the maintenance is for. Sorry to interrupt. I'm just reading it. Yeah. The maintenance for the Mario Maker 2 is going on right now. It's probably for this update. Yeah, it's probably. So, maybe true. soon. I had a dream last night, and another article sp oracle spoke to me. Its voice was heavenly. If you keep going around and around, the red palm tree in the distant desert town, dry dry outpost, something good will happen. So said the voice in my dream. It doesn't seem to make any sense to me at all. In fact, thinking about it makes me uneasy, so I can't sleep at night. If you find out what it means, please tell me. So, at dry dry outpost? 
think you said? Yeah. So if I go back to Dry Dry Outpost and find the red tree and just walk around it, something will happen, I'm guessing. I gotta find where that uh, pipe is. I'm trying to remember where the pipe is that leads to the sewer. What the? There was a Red Dead Redemption One remake. The uh, rumor. I heard something like that around the time the game came out. Yeah. Well, just like, eh, I don't know about that. All right, I gotta go back on down here. Oh, I can do this now, but I'm gonna go do that here in a second. Let me get my letters taken care of first before I do that. Do this side quest. It's important. Okay. I had a. I was going to go do it, but. I, Okay, I need to go find Goomba. There, there's Goomba. Mario, how have you been? You must have traveled all over the Mushroom Kingdom by now. It's Goombario pulling his weight. The day you beat Bowser will be a fine time, yes indeed. I had a letter for you. I could have swore I had a bit letter for you. Goompapa. Not Goomba. Let's say that'd be the part in the next Paper Mario game. Oh. I need to get this anyways. Um, uh, Goombella is the partner in the Thousand Year Door. I remember that. Oh look, it's this guy again. Kawiz! It's time for everybody's quiz master. Check Quizmo. Wanna try the quiz? Yeah. Might as well. And let's get on to the question. Question. What ability does Gimbario frequently use? Tattle. <laughs> Correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered three questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again. Shooting star is an item version of Star Storm, but it does one less damage. So it does like six damage. Oh, there's Goompapa. There he is. Howdy, Mario. How's my son Goombario doing? Hey, by the way, I need the lad. I, need, I named the lad after you, Mario. I always wanted my son to grow up strong like you. He went all a little overboard. Now he's way too energetic. Ha 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 ha. You're a goon papa, correct? The name is Paracarry. I have deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. Postman's job is never done. Hey, thanks. Much obliged, Mr. Postal Worker. Oh, great news. Fishing is one of my hobbies, and this is from a friend who's planning a fishing trip. I can't wait. Oh, sorry to pile work on you, but could I give you a letter? If it's all possible for you, could you deliver it to a toad named M Musty? Musty. <laughs> he hangs around the castle garden. Really appreciate it. Musty in Princess Peach's castle. Okay. Who's it for? Is it a Koopa, you said, or a Goomba? It's a Goomba, I think. Just be a bullcrapper if that was the wrong answer to the right one and jump instead. That'd be weird because he doesn't really jump, he head bonks. Okay, what was my other letters? Let me see what those are real quick. Uh, this is pretty much what we're going to be doing for the rest of the stream, guys. I probably won't get to chapter 4 tonight, but um, I, I kind of wanted to do all these side quests that I had on here. Uh, Merlin and Toad Town. I need to go give that to Merlin. So might as well go back over here. We'll go we'll go to Dusty Desert real quick. Um, after I do these letters. Or dry dry outpost. Sorry. Dusty Desert's in another Mario game. My bad. Alright, uh in front of Peach's Castle. Merlin's here. So let me go give him his letter real quick. Hmm? Desert town, red palm tree, go round and round, something good will happen. What does the dream mean? 
can't get it out of my head. I'm obsessed. Anyways, if you want me to predict your future, talk to across the table. You're in Merlin, correct? Your name's Paracary. Got to deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered and postman's young and done. Who's it from? Hmm. Oh, my granddaughter, Merle. She recently entered the family business. Hmm. Is that so? Oh, I see. Interesting. She opened up her business at Dry Dry Outpost, deep in the desert. It's located somewhere quite off the main drag. She seems to be keeping busy. That's good to hear. Thanks so much for bringing this letter. I'll give you this. No star piece. Okay, cool. Hello, Commander Slater. Welcome to the stream. Do I plan to play Thousand Year Door as well? Yes, I do plan on playing Thousand Year Door at some point. Uh, I just wanted to beat this one first. Uh, the Chainmail quest can't be fully cleared until Chapter 7, but you can start chipping away at it. Side quests are great. So I completed a few of them in Dragon Quest XI earlier today. That's good. I, I need. I, I like some of the side quests in that game, too. Yeah, it's fine to save Chapter 4 for next stream anyway. Yeah, I kind of figured. we. I figured we'd probably finish up the rest of this Chapter 3 in this stream today. So... Castles. I can't believe. Miss the crowds. You're Musty, correct? My name's Paracary, blah blah blah. Give me a letter. Another letter duly delivered. The postman job is never done. That's from Mr. Goompapa, the old codger. We think alike, he and I. It's been ages since I saw him. Too long indeed. This reminds me. I was just, uh, just thinking about sending letters to one of my other friends. Your timing is perfect. Letters from to my friend. His name is Coover. Lives in Cooper Village. I'd like you to deliver it to this town. But he's near the entrance to the village. Usually hangs out in front of Toad House. And that's right, the red edge of town. No big rush. But it would be nice if we could get it done soon. Okay. Alright, I'll do it. Do it eventually. Let's go back to, um, uh, what is it called? Let's go back to Dry Dry Outpost real quick. Go down here. Still looking forward to Chapter 6. <laughs> You've been hyping up Chapter 6 a lot, Celtics. <laughs> It's a long chapter. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It has a lot. I didn't mean it for this to happen, but since I'm here, I might as well go ahead and deliver that letter. For reference sake, I beat almost the entirety of news to be Luigi U joining in Allison Stream Chapter 6. Are you serious? Holy uh -huh. crap. Here, here's the letter. Since I'm already here when I went down the hole, down the pipe. No letter to blah, blah, blah. Hey, thanks. It's a good time. I'm about to send another letter myself. Would you like to look at this letter? I must keep. Two of us are always thinking along the same lines. He's one of my fishing pals. I'll tell you what, don't fish, but you should. What a hobby. And to think, I was just about to send a letter to my fishing buddies around about a trip. Once we have a good place set up, I'll write a letter back to Musty. So, could you send this along for me? Thanks so much. It's a friend of mine who's always fishing up in Toad Town Port. He's usually easy to find. Thanks again. Uh, f fish mail in Toad Town Port. I don't think I've unlocked Toad Town Port yet. It's everyone's most hated chapter, including mine's. Now, I'm looking forward to it then. Let me see if I can go to Dry Dry Outpost. Yeah, okay, let's go find this tree. Here it is. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a sec? What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy. What? You're joking. You believe some crazy dream? 
Well, okay, I guess. I mean, I got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't mean anything. It said, there's a house with a whirling ro roof in a large town near a castle. If you spin jump three ju three times inside the house, something good should happen to you. Haha, <laughs> a house with a whirling roof. If that existed, ha. I don't take dreams seriously. Okay, well I guess we gotta go back to Merlin's house and do ground pound three times. I actually have. The moment you access Southern Toad Town after chapter one, you could go to the port. You just keep going left. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I didn't have access to it because I don't remember the port. I'm gonna go down here. You know what? While I'm here, we're doing this. Might not go in the water. Oh, I think I don't have a buddy for this. I think I remember seeing from the beginning demo. You need to have a, the fish buddy to to swim in the water. So. Oh yeah, the best partner for breaking out of bounds. Oh really? Ow! I know that. Yeah, they they use that fish a lot for out of bounds glitching. Of course. They do. Careful. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured as much. This, these guys did three damage to me. Okay, tat on these guys, Goombario. This is Dark Koopa. Dark Koopas are Koopa Troopas who live in Toe Town Tunnels. They're known for causing dizziness. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 2. Be extra careful when you see him grin because they're about. That means they're getting ready to do their dizzy attack. Their defense power is zero when they're turned over, so you should just use jump attacks. Yeah, I see that one guy jump with a laughing over there. I'm gonna go jump on him. I'm hurting. I'm hurting bad. Oh, head bonk. He's still laughing maniacally. <laughs> Dizzy sad sucks very badly. Especially in this game where partners can't use items. Okay. I'm guessing dizziness, what it does is it makes it so that you can't, um, move. If I remember correctly, you can't move for the time being, so. This guy's laughing maniacally. I'm gonna stop him before he starts. I'll use a shooting star. Did one damage. Oh gosh. Can't move right now. Oh gosh. Can we run away? You can't do anything. Oh gosh. You guys are right. Holy crap. Um, well. Ugh. Lucky. Ow. Please don't kill me. Please. Lucky. Okay. Oh shoot. Damn it. No! You were right! I can't do anything! Lucky. Yeah, I died. Damn it! Ah! 
That's okay. I don't remember the last time I saved, though. When was the last time I saved? Please don't tell me that was the beginning of this freaking... I highly doubt it. I'm okay. pretty was... sure you saved at least after completing chapter 3. Yeah. Alright, well, I know I... Gosh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Shoot. Well, I mean, that's what happens, right? Oh, now I gotta go do all this letters business again. I'm just gonna go ahead and just <laughs> go through all these things here. Gosh, Dizzy is annoying, man. Yeah, since the guys can't use items, it sucks. Yeah, that, that does limit you. Yeah. Because you would want to use, like, your secondary turn to heal, but nope. Oh, yeah, I can also confirm now, Jeff, from that story from earlier. The Mario Maker 2 maintenance was for upping the course limits, and now you can upload 64 courses in the game today. That's cool. Yeah, so that was what the maintenance was, and I was like, what, an hour of maintenance? That was short. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. You don't have to go to Dry Dry Desert and walk around the tree. You can just do three spin jumps. Okay, I think I might just do that then. Skip all that nonsense. <laughs> I gotta go deliver the letters again, though, but I'll do that here in a second. First, I'll give you the letter. Give me my star piece. There we go. Huh? Oh, this badge is quick change. I had no idea such a useful badge was in my attic. Mario, you're a very lucky man. You should put that badge on. Quick change. Changes your party member that attacks with it that turn. Oh, that's a good badge. Especially since how many yeah. times I moved that. I, yeah, I changed party I've heard this is that. one of the best badges in the whole game. Just because of how helpful this is. Where's quick change? This saw it. Oh, it needs four. Holy crap. I'm gonna go and grace up my BP next time I level up. So, <laughs> Oh, jeez. Now, what was I doing after that? I'm gonna save after this. Save here. I'm gonna go back to... Goombario, or Goomba, Goomba's house. Probably have to just, we're probably just gonna probably do all this stuff that I tried, missed out, and probably just call it a stream after that. But it's getting kinda late right now. Alright, let's go down here. I gotta do that quiz again. Or he's just not gonna be here. It's random when he shows up, so I Dang guess it. this time he doesn't show up. I could take Zap Top off. Well, I like Zap Tap. Yeah, I mean, you don't really need it, so yeah, I guess that's a fair point. I like Zap Tap though. Uh, well, I guess I could. Quick change does help a lot. Shooting star bag. I missed the uh, missed the quiz guy. Kind of, I was like, gosh, that was a star piece too. What does it says? That dark Koopa room. That killed you unlocks the booze mansion fast travel. 
So, if you don't go back. Spike shield is also not useful for chapter 4. No spiked enemies. Okay. So that might be a good thing to take off, too. That's two. Um... I'll do that one. There we go. Alrighty, uh, let's go back. That quiz guy, man, that's just gonna bother the heck out of me, man. Cause I got a star piece out of that. Now I lost it. That's okay, I guess. I guess that just, that just happened. You said it just randomly appears? And whilst the timing of when he appears is random, yeah. Okay. Think of it like Wintos from Sonic Unleashed. The best thing I can compare it to. Because from the looks of things, that guy does have set spawns like Wintos does, but at the same time, he just kind of shows up when he feels like it. Yeah. I don't need to go and do that spinning around the thing again. So. Let's go back to Coop Town. Oh, is this closed now? Sorry, but I had to close up shop. Some idiot shy guy stole my calculator. You believe that? I need to get that calculator sales, but I'm not a genius when I find that little punk. Huh. Back to Koopa Town and get that one letter delivered, and then we'll go to the port, I guess. Now I know, be careful about going down there. I want to go fight those dark Koopas again because, well, not, not fight them, go back in the room and see if I can unlock the, the thing. To get the fast travel points, too, but I gotta be careful with the freaking dark Koopas. I'm gonna save first before I do that. Please. Please. Just in case. I should be saving at every save point I pass by. But, yeah, that's how you learn, right? Okay, let's go and try it again. Now that I've saved, won't be that big of an issue. This, where does this lead up here? I guess it leads back just up here. Okay. I fall down. I'm going here. I was incorrigible. What the heck, man? Oh, jeez. Die, you stupid Koopas. I'm gonna go ahead and out of sight. Maybe then that'll help me. You gonna spin? Well, guess what? That didn't work. <laughs> He's like, oh no!
you have to stay still for that. When you try to move during the invinci- Oh wait, hold on a second. Read what she said. Sorry. It says, when you try to move after turning invisible, you start to move and the invisible turns off. I thought it was turn. I thought I was though. Maybe I maybe I moved the control stick a little bit more. Okay. Try this again. Oh shoot! There's a lot of them down here. Shit. Oh no! There's a lot of them. Maybe I can put them to sleep. Or three of them just leave my bed. <laughs> Go away. Wow, that actually helped. Yeah, it did help. I couldn't believe that. Um, well, Mar I know Mario can't move. Uh, I know this won't hurt him. Yeah, I knew that wouldn't hurt him. to level up again. Infinite power bonus. No mercy. Oh no! Gosh, darn it. I wonder if I can run away. I'm gonna actually run away. Because I don't want to deal with these guys. Do I have to? I think I have to actually kill these guys before the doors even open. Let me refill my eight my MP or eight FP. Sorry, this isn't an actual RPG. Like it's an RPG, but it's not like a traditional RPG. Infinite power bounce, no mercy. Infinite power bounces. Like I said, this move is not broken whatsoever. Now, smack the crap out of this guy. Slap, 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 bitch slap. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I guess I could do out of sight for right now. That help more than anything. Yeah, I could swap to Gumbaro, you're right. Oh, come on, I just got out of that!
I'll switch to Mario. And I'll take care of that one guy. Ow. <laughs> I can't skip party. I'm just gonna have to take care of these guys. Cause they're like, nope, we're gonna make Mario just, you know, not be able to move. This is stupid. Holy crap, that's not fair. <laughs> it's like I can't do anything with Dizzy. And it's pretty much the wrap from Pokemon Gen 1 of this game. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Holy that, crap. That was good. Good. Yeah. Yeah, cause no one, one likes rap. No one likes rap. But the Knuckles raps are good. No one likes rap, except Knuckles rap. Well, at least they're not trying to kill you yet. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> at least I leveled up. Okay, well... Oh, okay, VP's going up. This made the shortcut back to the mansion. Yeah, okay. Gosh, Dark Goombas suck. <laughs> now that I've got that, the badge points, let me go and equip more stuff. Zap tap back on. I like zap tap. <laughs> I might put power rush on too because I have an extra one on. So that'll help. Alright. We're gonna go back to uh I'm gonna go deliver this letter and then I'm probably gonna end the stream. Cause we've done a lot in this stream. We've beaten chapter three. I'm gonna get ready for chapter four next stream. Um, I'm guessing I'm not, I shouldn't go any further than that. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Dark Uba suck, man. Freaking hate him now. Dizzy sucks. Dizzy's a bad build, bad status ailment. Yeah, I don't think that returns in Thousand Year Door. I don't think so, but correct me I'm wrong, chat. Because I've only played, like, a chapter of that game. Oh, wait, there's a bull. Yeah. Well, it's dumb people here too loud at born because this place is too quiet. You may not know this, but it's natural for some flowers to complain all the time or flip flop on issues. Who's to say that it's wrong? There's a saying. So it's always browner on the other side. Let me go. Did I already I saved, didn't I? No, I'm gonna go save. And then we're gonna go down to the port real quick. I don't think it's still in Thousand Year Door, but enemies have to be holding a dizzy dial to use it, which is rare, I think. I'm not sure, though. I mean, if that's the case, that's still... Heavily nerfed. Yeah. Gosh, I, I saw that. Like they, they all. It's like it was exactly like rap and played Gen One. Gen One was annoying with rap. Mario, Mario, good to see you. We found out that you defeated Tubba Blubba. I knew you could do it. I just knew it. When we heard the news, the princess was very relieved. Oh yes, I've got some new information about the Honorable Star Spirits who are all still in prison. Have you ever heard of Shy Guy Toy Box? Seems one of the Honorable Star Spirits is being held there. But, 
Where on earth is Shy Guy's toy box? I have no idea. Oh, time is short. I have to go back to the princess now. Good luck, Mario. Princess Peach and I are always cheering you on. Oh yeah, Chet Repo. You little man. My name is Chet Repo. Pleasure to meet you. Say, man, do you want to upgrade your status? <laughs> yeah, I know you do. It's actually 390 coins, but for you, and only you, I could do it for 39 coins. If you give me 39 coins, I'll upgrade your F HP, FP, or BP. I'm not lying or cheating you. Come on, you know you want it. Don't talk to Chet Rippo. Too bad, you're lost. Maybe another time. He looks kind of like a shady guy. <laughs> he lets you do Danger Mario strats, even if it's not as busted as Thousand Year Door. I'm guessing if I talk to him, he actually decreases one my my ability my my stuff on me. Well, more or less, like I'm gonna assume the danger strat thing. Me, like I guess it buffs you, but you want one HP or something, which yeah. is not perfect. Oh uh, yeah, rearranges level ups. Yeah, the that's okay. Yeah. Is this the port, by the way? Oh no, it's over there. Okay. The port, welcome. Excuse me, Shy Guys? Yeah, yeah, Shy Guys. We sometimes see them at the port, but they usually behave themselves. They come from the east. Who knows where they come from here? Yeah, something's floating over there. See what I'm talking about? Well, if you go straight and walk into the pier, you'll be able to see it. It bothers me for some reason. I just saw it move. Wandered around a good while and around circles and good while. Other lost lives to came in a mysterious mansion. Or in Boo the name of Bootler. The Bootler used to travel the world having adventures with Harry's friends, a Goomba and a Koopa Troopa. He spoke many things, he and I. He even told me his undying love for the mistress of the mansion. There was a little girl, Boo, there, the granddaughter of the mansion's mistress. She was headstrong and very spoiled. She, still, she was cute. I wonder how she's doing now. Must be beautiful. Well, why don't you tell her yourself? She's right here. Oh, she's right here, dude. Why was there no clever, like, dialogue with that? Aw, oh, man. That's okay. Are you the guy I need to deliver a letter to? Where's the guy I need to deliver a letter to? He has a star piece? Ah, oh, jeez. Well, I'll come back when I have more money. Where is the freaking guy I need to give this letter to? I thought I, I talked to everybody already. Is he in this house here? Club 64. <laughs> What about you? Most of those folks don't feel like knights are troubling items. To tell you what, I'm trying to finish without this for no uses. What about you? I'll talk to you here. I'm Simon and Ryman. To the folks who don't know, I'm the master poet. Poor, poor pop diva cannot sing, but the lyrics is just a thing. If lyrics really rock, our pop diva would be cured of shock. 
I'm tragically struck though because my last line's a no-show. Later, plumber, plumbinator. What about you? You used to be able to sing any song perfectly, each note masterpiece. This time, or times are behind me now, perhaps forever. The sight of Peach's cast as high flying in the sky was such a shock. I haven't been able to sing since. And now, now that I'm a pop diva who cannot sing, cruel irony, isn't it? You missed someone, hung at the top of the shoreline. Oh! Here's a guy. Ah, oh, blimey! This little wriggler's gone. Where's the fuzzy pea go? Fish fish took him. Perhaps cursed for a foul luck. Just a person fishing in the port. Ah, this must be you. The name is Paracary. You will deliver letters. Blah, blah, blah. Here's your letter. A oh, letter duly delivered. Postman jobs are done. Huh, what's this then? Shiver me timbers. Word from Coomer. Must, Musty said he wrote a letter too. Everyone's got to be the fishing bug. Time for a fishing trip. Yes, shit, come along, Mario. Yar, that reminds me. I got a favor to ask. Could y'all deliver this to me? Hmm? Huh? Why, a Koopa Trooper who asked you to bring this letter to me. Koopa's the name. Yar, take good care for love of fishes. So we gotta take that back to Cooper. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm not gonna go any further than that. I'll just, uh, probably hit the stream here, because I'm getting a little tired. <laughs> we'll come back and do that later. There's a couple things I wanted to do before we start Chapter 4. And that's, uh, one thing I need to go trade in my star pieces for new badges. And then we'll go and, uh, we'll go and figure out what in the heck's going on with the Shy Guys. So... Chanterilla. <laughs> talking about the other cheek, cheek gut dude and not what you're talking to. Yeah, so we're gonna probably end the stream. We're gonna end the stream here tonight. Um, yeah, we finished chapter three. I'm happy about that. We beat Tubba Blubba and everything. We got a new party member. And we, yeah, we beat chapter three, so we're gonna be starting chapter four next, next week. So, hopefully we'll be able to finish that in one stream setting. So... Thank you all for coming to the ch uh, the stream. I appreciate you all supporting me and everything. Um, yeah. Uh, Amber, are you going to be streaming tomorrow? Yeah, Amber's going to be streaming tomorrow. Uh, same time. Uh, about 6 o'clock Central Time. So, yeah. She's going to be start going, coming back to streaming uh, some more Wind Waker tomorrow. So, if you all want to come by and do that. Uh, Lester's going to be streaming Thursday. Right, yeah, sure. I'm still working out Twitch bugs, so yeah. just I don't know yet. Yeah. If the ingest servers are still garbage, I may I just have to postpone things until they're because it yeah. infuriates me to see thousands of frames dropped in. I don't blame you, man. An hour. I people can't watch it to that point. Yeah, it's stupid. But uh, yeah, Lester's gonna possibly stream Thursday if Twitch fixes their crap. Uh, Lester's going or Amber's gonna be streaming tomorrow. Some more Wind Waker. So, that, thank you all for coming out, and we will see you guys next week. So, take care, everybody.